Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gnomes, Tomes, and Catacombs. How are you guys doing today? Are you ready to fight some hobgoblins? I am amazing, and I'm ready. I can't wait to surrender to some goblins. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Me too. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, where we last left off, does anyone remember the events that led you to this precipice? Uh, Gerald is in a coffin, and we're trying to bring the coffin back. Why? Why are you trying to get this coffin? Because the guy who originally was going to deliver the coffin book was mm -hmm. captured. And now we found him too. So now we need to go back together. Excellent. And what is in the coffin that's so important? The his mother's dead body. The guy who hired us is dead mother. Does anyone remember his name? Josh. Yes, actually. Why? I think was, Shit, I didn't yes, know it was going to be a correct. test, dude. Oh! I get, oh it. I, I, get, I get some You know what, Maduri? Right go ahead and take um, what we call inspiration. inspiration? Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Are you serious? Fucking killed it, Midori. So Christ. at any point in time, when you absolutely want to make sure a roll is going to succeed, but before you roll it, declare you're going to use your inspiration and you get to add an extra die in there and you take the higher of the two results. How do you... Oh, here it is. Found it. Okay, got it. Perfect. Yay! Um, do those, so um, well, real quick for rolls, do, does inspiration wear off at the end of a session, or are we allowed to hold that through? No, you hold it until you use it. Use it? Okay, gotcha. Cool. Yeah, but you can't have two. You get one. Gotcha. Yeah. You're looking great today, Koibu. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're looking like you wouldn't ever want to kill a tiny gnome with one HP. All right. You <laughs> don't really know how to judge people then, do you? <laughs> um, so let's uh, start off the game. You guys are perched on the cliff above the hobgoblins. Uh, you have surprise on them. You can see the goblins down. Eh, you probably can't see the goblins down below, but you can see the hobgoblins. So what's the plan? What are you guys going to do? Wait, what time of the day is it? It's late in the afternoon. Um, I... Fuck, I forgot my Chad voice. Okay, so can I use an owl to scout over the cliff to like what else you might be missing? Absolutely. Me. Um, with the owl. Uh, oh, on ignore. Uh, with the owl, you can see, ignore these red lines that are gonna show up. Just pretend they don't exist. Okay, you can see these goblins as well. If you scroll down a wee bit. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, that's... Do you guys think we should wait till nightfall? Maybe the goblins will just dip? What if we can distract them with something? Hello? They're hobgoblins and goblins. Can we just walk up and do away with these fiends? But Gerald is dying. Yes. Yes! <laughs> yes, I am! <laughs> I don't see any way out of this except for the fight. You guys... Can figure out a point if you can. Uh, Look, can we... Why don't we just wait until nighttime and then we can go? We don't have a deadline on the coffin, right? Well, how are we going to avoid these guys? They're just going to come walking back into us. Okay, well, then we can set up an ambush and get them. Or a distraction? Surprise. It is time to stop and reassess this mess. If you want us to live, we've got to rest. <laughs> uh, can we tell what kind of weapons these hobgoblins are holding? They have bows, and they're oh, sort of crouching down oh. low so that someone walking up the road couldn't see them, whispering back and forth to each other. Occasionally, one will, like, peer over the edge and then go and hide back down. They're clearly waiting in ambush. Would, uh, they I would do have swords on their sides, but they're not drawn. Would somebody with a bow generally be able to wield a shield simultaneously or no, right? No, you can't bow and shield. I think we should just charge the hobgoblins on the cliff. Mess them up, boys. Okay, well, maybe we should try to... Ambush them? Not yeah, just charge yeah them? I think we should definitely ambush them. Uh, I am very dead set on ambushing them and not just I, charging at them. Okay, I'm in favor of that. Okay. I mean, I, I kind of like the plan where we take a rest and attack at nighttime. Yes, yes. Take a rest. <laughs> <laughs> Can we hear the gnome inside? Yeah. Holy shit, I'm <laughs> tripping a... balls up in this coffin. He's just tripping, just... dude. Yeah, there's so many goblins. He's tripping so hard, he's not even rhyming. <laughs> okay. That um, all right. All right. Okay, oh, if shit, we're going to ambush, do we want like a distraction or do we all just pounce at the same time? I think we uh, can make the distraction too. Well, aren't we on higher ground anyway? You are on higher ground. They are low. They've got their backs to you. They're not aware that you're here at all. 
Can you show us the... Can we see the um, little characters or whatever on screen? You should be able to see everything, no? Um, I can... Oh, sorry, I was way yeah. too zoomed in. Can, no. um, if it... So, looking at the, how this terrain is laid out, um, is it safe to assume that a goblin can't really shoot an arrow at us from way down there? Or how am I reading this? I can't... Uh, the hobgoblins, mm -hmm. would, if you were standing up, would be able to fire at you. The goblins do not have bows. They just have swords and shields. Oh, okay, that's good. We'll have oh a lot of time. Oh my gosh, we just need to... Night, mm. we just need to kill these guys. Can we... I agree. Can we uh, kick these goblins off the cliff? No, why would we kick them off the cliff? Let's just kill them. How much damage do we think it would do if we kicked them off the cliff? Like, is it is it far enough that it would probably kill somebody? And break one d six damage for every ten feet. So they're about twenty feet up. 20 feet. It would take two d six damage. Oh. Why would we give them a chance to regroup with our goblin brethren at the other end of the ravine? Yeah, I chasm, whatever this is. For <laughs> sure. Throw the coffin down. Can we just walk what? up and stab them? They have bows. We have swords. We can kill I them. I agree with Locke. Let's I go stab them. Alright, stab them and then kick them off the cliff. Okay, how do we do this? Do we have? Do we roll initiative or does the highest sure, sneak well, go first? Can we so right now, you guys are on the top of this cliff. There is a way down over here on the right side. So if mm -hmm. you want to walk down, that's fine. Or you can try and like slide down this cliff um, and then just be right at their backs on top of them. Sliding down is going to be loud, but quick and direct. Ooh. This way is going to be slow. You can sneak, but if you fail your sneak roll, they'll probably see you coming. So uh, do you want to go it... the stealthy route or the direct route? Is a failed sneak roll like we all roll initiative or they get like a surprise attack or something? Um, we would roll initiative on your failed sneak roll. You would just Can alert I... them, and then they wouldn't be surprised on their when you make when you get to them. You would Can still I make give... your first action. <laughs> okay, go, Lily. Can yes. I give everyone the blessing of the trickster? You can give it to one person. Oh. Chad Barbo. What does the blessing do? It uh 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 makes you stealthy. Like gives it an advantage on dexterity stealth checks. I'll take it. Well, wait, what is everybody's dex? Mine's real, real low. Mine oh. is uh, 10 or zero. Mine is uh, 18. Holy. So I can either sneak or I can acrobat my way from the I cliff. might be able to sleep the hobgoblins. Do you have a spell left? Yeah. That would be probably the best thing. <laughs> yeah, why not do that? You have a spell slot? Yeah, I do. I only used one and then I immediately got crit. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. do you Oh, never mind. That's um, hold on, hold so on. That's... Do we want to use a spell here, though? Do we Are really we... need to? What if Chad seduces them? No. No. I, okay. I could do that. Don't fuck around, man. Like this is a really tough fight. It, I, if the goblins assist from the by, the back, They're, it's going to take I, them. I well, the goblins can't like attack us for a while. It's going to take I a just... while to get up the cliff. What if? Uh, okay. Um... Who who wants to stealth and who wants to jump from the cliff? <gasps> Oops. How do I delete this? Chad wants to jump because that's a Chad ass move. All right. I'm sorry. So the stealth should probably go first, right? Yeah. Well, Koiber just waved his head no. <laughs> I was shaking my head at Lily, who was drawing. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I, I got the wrong one. Um. Okay. Okay. So. What if, guys, guys, hear me out. What if I light Gerald Owl on f on fire, or not on fire, but like light him up? What? And then have him fly like this area, and then we go around and ambush them. Huge brain. Why does my owl have to be on fire? It's not. On Maybe fire. just have Gerald's owl go like fire. start fucking with the hobgoblin you know, over I have here. I can't trip that lights things up a lot. Would they want to be totally distracted by the brain? Okay. I like my that owl. sounds like the kind of thing that would give us an advantage on stealth checks if she did that, because that's got to be real distracting having an owl on fire flying in front of you. I, mean, I would not ever expect an owl to be on fire. It's flying. not on fire. It's like, what is it called? What is, wait, hold on. Let me read the spell. Well, if exactly. you were sitting in ambush on a mountain pass and all of a sudden you saw a flaming owl, would okay, you be not, more or less alert than you were a, a moment ago? It's not a flame. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be thinking I'm like tripping, dude. Guys, I have the no object idea. Okay. sheds yep. bright light in a 20 no. foot radius. And wait, that doesn't sound like what we want. Off. So if we colored it like bright pink or neon green, the hobgoblins are gonna be like, "What the hell is that thing?" And they're gonna turn to it, and then we can sneak around and get a stealth advantage. Don't Chad is just gonna look point. at Locke. Seelin, just, like, just go. Seelin, we... stealth down there. Just let's go. Created this man. Seelin, just go. I'm not wrong. Stealth your way down there. 
No, I'm gonna jump on the off. Lock should stealth, right? So he Lock, can get as shake close and as he can. You're sneakier than I am. But uh, Lock, Midori Lock. can give you shake uh, and bake. No, hold on. No, we're not shaking and baking anymore. Blessing off the trickster, right? Okay, yes. Midori, bless me up. All right. I pet Lock's head. Thank you. And I say, you have the blessing of the trickster. Okay, so wow. my goal is to sneak. Um, or, oh god, where is the ruler again? Uh, the second one down? Third one down? Wait, you should, uh, second one down. Second, third? I don't know. It's got the, the circle with the line. Looks like the male symbol minus the arrow. <laughs> oh god, this is not what I wanted. I'm so sorry. The fourth button? I, what I the made. <laughs> I'm Jesus. sorry. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, All right. Fourth one. You the ruler. Uh, yeah, this is it. Go. I got it. Okay. I'm going to sneak. Wait, um, can you sneak to the one all the way yeah, to the, the left? Yeah, the far one. Right. Yes. Okay. Am I able to sneak to somebody in radiant attack so that if somebody next to me like makes a noise and alerts them, I can take my sneak attack or no? I mean, if you're at the point where you could make your sneak attack, you probably would have already attacked them, right? Well, because the goal would be to have all three of us in position, is what I'm asking, so that we can attack simultaneously. Is that possible or no? Sure, like, but wouldn't you all be creeping up simultaneously? It's not like you're going to arrive, and then someone else is going to arrive, and someone else is going to I arrive. guess, like, the goal would be well, for no, no, us no, no, to no, all no, arrive no. together. Cause, cause, no, 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 because if we, if we go simultaneously, if any one of us fails a stealth roll, then it would alert them to all of us. Whereas if we go one at a time, if, like, the third person messes up, at least two people get... Sure. Okay. Sure, but so if you in this go... hypothetical situation, Locke mm -hmm. sneaks over here and sneaks behind this hobgoblin. It's not like yes. these hobgoblins are just like staring straight ahead. They're not NPCs in a bad video game. <laughs> uh, they're gonna. They're talking to each other. They're looking around. If you get up behind one, you're not gonna have a lot of time to hang out there before they notice you. An oh. owl that emits okay. neon green light. Oh my god. <laughs> Chad okay, right. is so then, getting real antsy. Me, Chad, and Celine then I guess are all sneaking down. Then we're all rolling for it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, if you want to sneak, roll me a stealth check. Uh, Locke, you've got Blessing of the Trickster, so do it at advantage. 15 is great. Is it really? Good thing for advantage. Uh, You're so <laughs> dumb, Steve. Celine, you don't even have to bother. Oh. So the three of you are coming down the hill, coming down the mountain. Uh, and you get to about here when <laughs> Locke inadvertently kicks a rock and the rock kind of tumbles down the, the cliff and the hobgoblins like look back towards you and see you and you see them and you're pretty close to them <laughs> or pretty far from them right now yeah you're far enough away that we should roll initiative if you guys were really close if you were like right here i would say you can finish your move and get your actions but you rolled a one and a two. So. Lock, lock, dense as a rock. Seeing these blunders of thee reminds me of a lad called Destiny. <laughs> there you go. All right, click your character and press one initiative. Am I initiative? I forgot to click my character. I just went and did oh it. Oh my god. Screen. Got it. Sorry. <sighs> We're supposed to click our characters. Oops. Yeah, yeah I fucked up too. I'm sorry. I, I, I fucked up. Thought. Hey, I can reroll if you want. There you go. I've added you to the list. Thank you. Wow. Wait, how do you do this? I, I forgot. It's off your character sheet, right? Uh, no, no, you, no, you, you, you click your, your token. Or the button in the upper left-hand corner, but you got to click your token. Click your token, yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. Yeah, I see Gerald, Chad, Barbo, Lock. Two, three, four. Lock I'm missing a Lily. Got Lily. it. Lily. I don't know why I keep calling you Lily. You are not... Call me whatever you want, Koibu. Really? I said Koibu, not oh, you. Never mind. I can suggest a few names. Mm -hmm, I'm what sure. names did you right. So, the... the... Too many of them now. The first hobgoblin uh, sees you guys coming down, stands up, surprised but alert, uh, turns to face you, and then will fire a bow shot at Seelin. Why? Because you look <laughs> Like the weakest person. Uh, does that? Uh, holy shit! He criticals you right off the bat. You take 13, 11 points of damage. Ow, my face. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love stealthing. Wow, good idea, guys. We're totally not gonna die. <laughs> 
All right, we don't roll the martial advantage, right? So it's just the 11. So Seelin immediately takes an arrow and falls to the ground unconscious. <laughs> Seelin, it is your turn. Make me a death saving throw. All right, I just need to not roll don't a one, roll right? Don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Uh, Oka's revenge, dude. <laughs> it's a uh, 1d20. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and there's no luck key for halflings? <laughs> Mm, yes, halfling luck does apply on death saving throws. Okay, so you one, yeah, it's yeah, real good. You're good. You're good. Uh, Chad Barbo. Um, fuck, dude. Yeah, can Chad get in range if he's like right here? Maybe Almost Chad the wants to save right save the dying monk oh, next to him. Let's see. Uh, Chad gets to here. Yeah, you know what? You got an axe. You're, you're close you. enough. Go for it. Chad Barbo is gonna He's got an advantage on this attack roll. This hobgoblin has not stood up yet. He's Thank still God. prone. All right, Chad Barbo is going to swing his great axe mm -hmm. and attempt to hit the goblin. Ooh. Uh, advantage was definitely a critical hit. You hit him for 18. The hobgoblin just like slides off the cliff. Hits a rock, breaks into two pieces where your axe hits him and is dead at the bottom of the Wow! Critical hit! Amazing! Yeah, Chad knows he did amazing. Um Okay, yeah, that's it. He just flexes. He tries Cheryl. to intimidate the other. Is that okay? Can he flex and intimidate? No, because he's still dead. Uh, intimidate would be a, a specific okay. action that round. Yeah. Gerald, what's life like inside this coffin? I'm tripping balls. Hmm. Yeah, man. What what is going uh, on with you and this dead body? Well, <laughs> let us see. Hmm. I think it is time for a spell. It'll mess with their head. The mental anguish I'll cause you will make them to drop dead. I think I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. Uh, and uh, it's important because I'm in this coffin, though they can't see me do it. Uh, on one of the hobgoblins, the one closest to you. How do you Chad cast the spell on a hobgoblin without seeing the hobgoblin? It's a mental spell, is it not? So I should be able... You still I gotta know able... where someone is. You can't just be like, toll the closest enemy near me. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, can I can... puke out of the coffin? Yes. And, you can and... throw open the lid, sit up, lean over the edge, and toll the dead down. Pick a target. Okay, um, I'm I'm going to peek out of the coffin, uh, like mm -hmm. only slightly, as much as I can, and then, um, hmm. Don't you have an owl? I do. I, I'm going to use that later to assist Locke. Um, so already in action with that owl too, but that's later. Um, okay, so I will peek out of the coffin, and I want to toll the dead on this dude right. Here. Oh. Uh, this dude right here. That All guy. Right, I see him. Yep. Uh, now, and... before you get the spell off, I want you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Because as you said, you are tripping balls. <laughs> That's true. Um, I, I, get an like... Do I get an advantage on that because I'm a gnome? No. No. Okay. I don't think gnomes are inherently drug resistant. Uh, what if it's a, a lot of mushrooms from the deep? <laughs> 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 How do I how do I do a saving throw on wisdom? Uh, it yeah. should be on your character sheet. There should be like a saving throw section just to the right of dexterity and constitution. You just click on the words wisdom right there. Let's try this. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah, you successfully target the correct hobgoblin. You get it all sorted out. It's gonna happen just as you intend it. Um, roll to roll your toll the dead. All right, this coffin I see moving in the walls. Spells heed my calls. I'll send my magic forth, even though I'm tripping balls. <laughs> All right, he makes a wisdom save and fails miserably, taking five points of damage. Excellent. Uh, Midori, you are next. Can I shoot? I'm gonna shoot a hobgoblin. goblin. My, my, my um, lady, you see this giant arrow <laughs> stuck in my face right now. Would you be so kindly as to pull this arrow out? God damn it, Jesus, fine. He's not talking, he's unconscious. Yeah, he can't talk, you should just, you wait, should just wait, shoot, honestly. Wait, is, uh, is, wait, what is he even... What? Like, what is he right now, is he unconscious still? Yeah, he's unconscious. 
So Waka help him. I can just use a healer's kit, I guess. Yeah. If I go to him. Yeah. You yes. can get to him and use a healer's kit. All right, I'm gonna do that. All right, he is stable, no longer having to make death saving throws. <sighs> so am I at one health? Nope, you're at zero. Okay, how do I get one health back? You rest. Hmm, real lots convenient. She rest. had a healer's kit now, but not earlier. Uh, Hobgoblin, no, no, lock. Lock, sorry. Why is everyone giving me shoot? <clears throat> okay. Um. Whoops. Okay, the ruler. What? It's pretty far. Oh, no, it's yeah, not. It's real I, far can move, long. I can move 30, right? You can move 30. Yeah, that's plenty yeah, far enough. Yeah, um, I gotta... I'm gonna put the owl as a ready action to assist lock, Koibu. Yeah, you need to uh, know sure. Here. You did cast a spell. Can you control your? Can you make your owl make actions and take actions of your own accord on the same turn? I think the owl has his own initiative, correct? So he should be able yeah. to, to ready an action on his own. Do you, but if you are giving multiple commands, is my question. Can you command your owl and, on its turn and command yourself on your turn, or do you? Give, uh, like, how does the owl work is my question, I guess. Yeah, let's look it up. I, my, my understanding yeah. of it is it, it should be its own entity, I think. So it has its okay. own initiative and its own action, but I might be wrong on that. The, the, the familiar should be able to do and uh, should follow my turn and do a help action on whoever I choose, I think. Okay, we'll just double check this stuff. I'm not used to 5e familiars here. Mm -hmm. Independently of you, but always obeys your commands. Ah. Holds its own stuff, can't attack, take other actions as normal. Only drops to zero. Yeah! Okay, so I think you can like give it general commands, like help our team, and then it'll, it'll just follow those general commands until you give it a different one. Um, and that'll like maybe take an action or a bonus action on your turn. I, I just want to make sure that you don't get up uh, too high of an action economy by getting a free turn on the Alistair. That's my, that, that's my objective, but one of the reasons the spell is so strong, <laughs> right, is that I can, I can, yeah, I can I can basically, it should be able to help block in this situation. Yeah, right? I think it can yeah. help block. It'll just okay. go fly around um, helping the allies. Do I still get uh, advantage on him since this one hasn't stood up yet, or no? Uh, this one has not stood up, so you do have advantage on the attack. Gotcha. So I have advantage anyway, so it doesn't matter, right? Right. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I move in range to uh, physically attack him. I will okay. use my halberd. Um, I don't know if either of those hit. 11 is not quite a hit, no. It slams down into the Hobgoblin's Ooh. armor, sending sparks everywhere. The Hobgoblin drops his bow, gets to his feet, pulls his sword out, takes a step closer, and wait, wait. will... I get my pull on Master too, right? My second you hit? You didn't enter your range. He was already in your attack range. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, on my attack, don't I get two attacks? Or am I crazy? Because I, I attack with the front? Oh, I didn't see the pull arm. Yes, you get yeah, the yeah, pull sorry. arm. Uh, I didn't see that second attack. Yeah, that actually hits him and kills him. Okay, he cool. tries to stand up when the polearm butt comes around, cracks him in the face, and he falls back down. Cool. Uh, and the goblins get the full initiative for this next Real turn. quick, after that, I would move in range of the uh, of the other guy within 10 feet of him. Okay. Uh, you already used all 30 of your movement. You don't have any more. Oh, okay. It's a dash to do 30 more? Yeah, it'd be an Which is an action. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, start top of the next round. The first of the goblins takes a look at this mess, sees two of their leaders downed, decides to make a morale check, and will run for the hills, just taking off. Uh, the one remaining hobgoblin, yeah, he's also had enough of this. This is not good. He's gonna head this way, climb down the cliff. I scream at him as he's running. Remember the name, Chad Barbo. And I spell it out too. Do you spell it correctly? C. Well, yeah. You want me to roll? I, yeah. I yeah so. show, tell me how you spell Chad Barbo. <laughs> uh, it's C H A D B A R B O. Is this an int check? No, it was just a <laughs> general D point. A real, a real life int check. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, he, the he spelled it. <laughs> <laughs> he spelled it wrong. C H A D B R B. That's what okay. it is. Yelling, there's a lot of adrenaline. You can't be expected to remember these things. Anyway, yeah. the hobgoblin bolts, runs. But he knows my name. You're good. You're unconscious, but you're fine. The next goblin is also going to think better of this and flee. And it is Chad's turn. Uh, I'm going to search this hobgoblin, I guess. 
Search him? Yeah, just check what he's got on him. He he's got him. a long sword. He dropped his bow on the ground. There's a quiver of arrows on his hip. He's Can got... I pick up the long sword and just carry it with me? Totally, yeah. I'm going to grab that. He's got chain mail, no shield. Yeah, he's chilling. Uh, Gerald. Yes. Yes. It's your turn. Really? Yes, sir. How can that be? Oh, didn't I not just go? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me understand the situation. So one hobgoblin is fleeing right now. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um, those one goblin, regular goblins, decided to leave as well. The other five goblins down there are not are not taking any actions yet. Right. Okay. Um, it looks like the enemy is routing. Wait, what do you mean by what does routing mean? Sorry. Like they're like, just abandoning like the Got battlefield it. and fleeing in mass. So I'm I'm a hundred feet away from those goblins. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I will probably pass. I don't think there's anything I can do this cool. turn. Yeah. Uh, Your turn. I think that's too far. Oh, yeah, I can't. What do I do? I don't know. What do you do? Can I just stay by Seelan and totally. Gerald in general? Yeah. All right. The next goblin begins to flee. Locke, it's your turn. Can I I'm, like? I'm like right here. Please. Can I lift like a uh, like one of their heads, like one of these hobgoblins' heads, <laughs> like up on my halberd and try to intimidate them from afar to encourage them to flee? You'll or have take... to remove the head from the shoulders first. Okay. Can I do any type of intimidating or threatening action oh, up yeah, here to totally. encourage them to flee? Give me an okay. intimidation roll and explain it to me what it is that you do. Um. Okay. So he steps on the edge of the cliff. Um. Let me roll first, and then I'll give you an explanation. I like that method. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, intimidation. Ooh. Okay, he drags, or I drag my halberd across the ground, causing fiery sparks to shoot up into the air, and I roar in intimidation to the goblins across the uh, chasm, challenging roar. them to, wait, to wait, come. Uh, wait, we have to hear roar? It. Are you roaring I something? I can't, I have a, I have like a sore throat right now, so I can't No, you don't. Roar. Well, the remaining goblins <laughs> immediately flee. They just bolt. They they leave the field. Um, the one remaining living hobgoblin is also just fleeing down the mountainside at full speed. Um, seems like the battle's over. Mm, it looks like the goblins are fleeing in mass. I'm honestly surprised that we kicked their ass. <laughs> okay, Seelin is capable of walking, right? Nope. Oh. Someone's got to carry me. Yep. I will help. Can I help? Um, Seelin is a halfling. Does this mean that he's like a very small? I'm yeah, like, I can carry halflings. Don't worry, Chet. Or don't worry, Locke. I'll carry him. Well, no, because we have to carry the coffin back with Gerald and the dead people inside and everything. Well, I think we have enough because we've got Buck or whatever, right? As well. Do we Chad see the donkey anywhere near Chad us? Chad and Locke can carry the coffin. Uh, Buck and Midori and the two donkeys can carry Seelin. And you Wait, guys. why can't can... the donkeys carry the coffin? Because how would you put a coffin on a donkey? I'm not sure. Never mind. <laughs> four and for some reason I think yeah, I just have four and dude. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, you guys can make it off the mountainside and start heading down and into civilization. Pogs, finally. What does Pogs mean in this land again? Good thing I haven't read we all of Quibu's wiki. Throw in the towel. Pogs, not a And thing. Gerald has his really cute owl. Pepega. I tried. <sighs> You did good. Thank you. She's gonna be farming the ha-has. Nice job. <laughs> All it's right. It's late in the day now that you're leaving the mountainside and you still have some eight miles to go, probably a little bit more since it's a windy road. So you travel well into the night to get back to Grumpburn. As you arrive in the town, you can see a couple of guards standing on the road with lanterns shooting the shit. Um, they raise lanterns and shine the lights on you as you all approach to make sure you're not some sort of monsters here to raid the city. Uh, it's just Chad. Wounded and dragging people, they quickly lay down their arms and come over to help you bring these suckers in. Oh, nice guards. 
first one asking you, my God, what happened? Is he alive? He says, pointing at Seelin. He's alive. Barely. We need help for him. Right um, away. Of course. Uh, and they help drag him and take all of you guys to a an inn nearby. Please be rest. gentle with him. He has a very fragile body. Don't forget me in the coffin. <laughs> oh, and we have a... Sometimes have people forget the gnome every so often. Uh, we would never forget the gnome. Kind of smack the coffin to quiet him down. Because ah! you're never... Alone. Thank oh, you, Majority. Farming him again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. You so guys we're... make it back to Grumpburn, and you can spend the night sleeping here. Yes. In the morning, uh, all of you that were wounded can be at 1 HP. All of you that were at 0 can be at 1 and can move under your own command. Oh, one whole HP. One whole HP. When can I get the people that were at one HP, can we can roll a hit dice? Was that considered a short rest or no? Uh, yes, a short rest is a night of sleep. So actually, everyone can roll hit dice and regain HP if you so desire. <laughs> yes, if please. you have a hit die left, I know some of you used them before. Why do I roll dice? so shit? I don't know, did you use one before? No. Okay, just wondering. No, my character uh, died before. I have one already, so right. if I roll one, I should be able to get my one back on the short rest as well, Actually, right? yeah, everyone, you gain one and you can use one. Everyone can expend yep. a hit die. I don't know yeah. what I'm talking about. Don't fucking listen to me. Oh, wait, so I'm at one hit die then? Again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get one back off a short rest. Mm -hmm. Why don't okay. we just take a long seven-day vacation here after we uh, hand in the Yeah, coffee? that's probably the plan yes. after we turn Yeah, let's hand it in. Squared away. Yeah. Right, let's, well, I think we should do that. We also go to level two if we do that, by the way. I never got... Your, or I never got your name. What is it? I pointed the girl who I called Stacy prior. Me? Yeah, Stacy. Oh, uh, I'm me, Dory. But you can call me Stacy if you want, Chad. All right, I'll call you Stacy. Okay, Chad. I looked at Locke and I'm just like, dude, does she like me? <laughs> I ignore them and I walk into the city. We need to turn this stuff in. We need a rest. Okay. So My companions are feeling exceedingly worthless right now. It is a two-day journey to Fenden. Um, you start on heading down the road. Now, are there any precautions that I should be aware of that you guys are taking as you make your way to Fenden? Mm, okay. What a specific question. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask? Just being prepared. All right. What, wait, what? wait, 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 real quick. So we were just in Gump Run, right? Mm -hmm. And Fenden is where we have to take the coffin and the buck mm -hmm. guy. And right now we're in... Is he opposed to doing a long rest in Gump Brun? Well, Fenden's just down the road. It's it's only a day and a half. I would take a whole extra week, and this body is rotting. Can I ask... Are you comfortable what? delivering what? payment to us and making the journey on your own, since it's such an easy journey to make, or...? Yes, I am comfortable with that. I looked a lot. Shouldn't we bring him back? Don't we get the bounty if we bring him back? Um, Guys, hear me out. This journey may be perilous. It's a day and a half, right? What if we send the owl first, illuminated yeah. by light? So we no, see. Stop with the illumination. <laughs> we could use the, the owl to scout ahead. Yeah. And yeah, just send it. can stop I ask a question too? Sure. Would yeah. it? Um, I, it's oh, a me. fairly often traveled road, right? There shouldn't be any like crazy bandits or anything. Or would we know that there is like? crime on this yeah, road. What do we know about the road, Corby? It is a well-traveled road. Uh, occasionally, there is crime along it, like all these roads. Uh, the military's been depleted. Internal security forces within the country have been lessened because of the war going on. So, uh... Do we know of anybody... Bandits. Do we know of anybody else, like, traveling back to Fenden that we could just travel with? You don't know anyone here. Nobody. You're all new to the area. Okay, well, another Do you mind if I ask around if anybody's going back? We'll just travel together as a group? I have another idea. Yeah, yeah, I want to do that. Are there any? Um, Sorry. Oh, Sorry. go ahead, Midori. But what if we send the owl ahead of us to scout? Then? Yeah, we will do that. But the other thing we, we do could that. do also is—is is that um, would we know if there's any like uh, courier services or mercenary services in the area that would um, that, that do regular routes along these roads? You could hire mercenaries for one gold piece, a hundred copper pieces per day, to join you. Uh, if you would like, you could hire a courier. But Buck is the courier that was hired for this already, so it seems a little redundant. Can I go around and ask if anybody else is like traveling back to um, Fenden and just wants to go as like a bigger party, just in case? Yeah, definitely. 
Um, you start asking around. Let me get my die out. And sure enough, you meet a pair of peasants that are heading out to Fenden with their two wagons loaded with grain and turnips. Um, they're leaving in half an hour. You want to go with um, them? I ask if we can hitch a ride or just like, yeah, go with them. Totally. Uh, they will is there enough room for our coffin in the back and then we can all go quickly? They will make room for the coffin underneath the feet of the driver on one of the wagons since the back are, is already filled. Um, uh, and they appreciate you guys having weapons and armor and being able to keep them safe. Can I awesome. make a... If that's okay with everybody. Yeah. Wait, 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 how does this situation... is as uh, How is this advantageous to us? Doesn't this actually make us more susceptible to some kind of crime? Because these guys don't help us in any way. They're just two Listen. peasants that don't have any weapons. Listen, they're offering <laughs> us a ride. Uh, they're offering us a ride. It's quicker. And Chad likes to do good. He wants awesome. people to know his name. Bandits, He's... if they were bandits, they'd be more scared of larger groups than smaller, right? Okay. I cast my ballot in to travel with the with the two men. I can Are people really gonna fire? rob a grain like a Not on fire, but... grain thing? Do yes. Need grain? <laughs> okay. I cast my ballot into going with them. For this entire journey, um, can we assume the owl is at max range scouting? I think it's 120 feet, uh, but for control. Down the road, right? Not yes. off to either side, not behind you, but just 100 feet down the road. Well, he should have some kind of bird's eye view of. No, of course, uh, but you know, with tree yeah. cover, the sides of the road are pretty obscured. Okay. Uh, can I make so an inside roll in on the peasants? Yeah. What? What are you? Are you suspecting them of something? Are they? Uh, I just want to make sure. You know, I'm looking at their hands. You know, are they actually peasants? You know, do they have Give me calluses? The roll. Yeah, All that's right. a good question. It's a really good question. All right, inside roll. Uh, we'll go with the first one. Yeah. You're looking at these guys. They seem like peasants. They do have calloused hands. They seem pretty broy, pretty chummy. They know each broy. other clearly. Yeah, they're jostling each other, making off-color remarks and humorous anecdotes. Wait, they have a wagon and it's being pulled by donkeys. So we have. A lot of donkeys right now? We got a lot of donkeys, donkeys right now. Yeah, Many four donkeys. donkeys. Four donkeys. Six donkeys. Six donkeys. donkeys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to be donking on some fools. Yeah. Um. Oh, on one hand, I think having a bigger group makes it like, more threatening. But on the other hand, it can invite people to rob us because there's a huge wagon filled with stuff. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would like to stealth and uh, stay away from the party. Like, there is the a side. wagon filled with haste by the party. Uh, to stealth, you have to move a little bit more slowly, and the donkeys are going to move faster than a person normally would anyway. So you got to like speed walk to keep up with them. So stealthing behind this speedy donkey wagon is. Uh... <laughs> Let's not so, waste time in this city. Let's just join them on the wagon. I'm sure it'll be fine on the way back. Yeah, my feet are my feet are tired. Let's uh, hang out and talk. Let us See, Lid, ride, come on. Let us ride See on the up. donkey. Chum, or I just pick him up. Walk along the donkey. All right. And um, you guys are going to keep the same watch order at nights, right? Lucas, uh, Devin, Steven, Jeremy, sure. Lily. Yeah. How many days is this going to take? Is this just one night's worth of rest? Uh, yeah, a day and a half to get there. Gotcha, okay. Koibu, um, I want to cast Prestignation on my dirty bagpipes to clean them so I can play them for the journey. Prestidigitation? Prestidigitation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go the ahead. You clean up the band type. You, you clean up the bagpipes, patch up the tiny little holes here and there, work the, the tubes, get them nice and straight. I have it's a deity question. How often can you cast a cantrip? Is it every short rest or can you do it non-stop all day Whenever. every day got man. it so if he wants to press press to digitate things non-stop he can got it i Thank just fucked through it yeah all right you guys spend the day and a half on the road with these people with no trouble whatsoever <laughs> driving back in fenden <laughs> koibu fucks with my mind dude <laughs> um well, maybe i asked my these people that there were no problems i asked know? my peasant friends if they have any um like copper they want to give us since we help them out 
Wait. <laughs> That's a good one, Chad. I'm just oh, asking. One. We're not taking. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can, can I? You want to give me for the? I will. I just give him. I just give him a. I just give him a preface. Can, can like I use a uh, sleight of hand to steal from them? <laughs> give me a sleight of hand check to grab their one of their. Careful. But like this is all a sight of anyone. Yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Wait a second. What can did we I roll? Can I roll to see if he's stealing? You motherfucker. No, oh, he rolled a twenty. That beats everyone's passive perception. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So... What if I roll a twenty? Well, you would have to be like on the alert to keep an eye out for him stealing shit. You okay. Know? You'd have to know that like he was that going. You'd All have right. To be suspicious about this. How much did I steal with my twenty? You stole their clothes, dude. <laughs> you. A turnip or two. You get like thirty silver coins and forty <sighs> copper coins. Sick, dude. Oh my god. That's not bad. I'll sell it. I don't know if playing the bagpipes is a good idea. What? Why not? Because what if we attract? Yeah, Wait, we're already in the city now. We're already, we made it. We're, we're already here. made it. I was playing my I point to the, the I point to the little gnome. I say, play me a ditty. <laughs> but we didn't rest in the middle? You did. We did. We oh. got through it. There were no encounters. Oh, there, there were no, no encounters. encounters? Yeah. Okay, never mind. You're all we're getting gonna... to the point where we are supposed to be starting for today, I think. Yeah. I'm going to stand next to Chad, and I'm going to do a little dance as I play my bagpipes for him. How did he do? Oh. Give me a performance check. Yeah, you're right. Uh... It's Ooh. good. He's real good. It's good. <laughs> Finest Beautiful. gnome in the land right here. I just scream it out to everybody. Beautiful. All right. You guys get back to Dusty's Diner. No, not Diner. Uh, Dusty's Tavern. Okay. Uh, come on in and with... What's his name? What the fuck's that dude's name? Uh, with Buck in tow... You guys pull the, the coffin into the, the tavern, and there's Wyatt sitting around waiting for you. Is this the tavern with Tanner? No, no, no. I don't think so. Different barkeep? Different barkeep. This Got is it. Dusty. Yeah. Dusty, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you come in. Wyatt sees you guys, goes right past you, and gives the the halfling a big hug. The uh, Buck, the halfling, not not Sea Leaf, the halfling. Wait. Uh, pats him on the shoulder and says, Oh, I was, was really worried about you. And then turns back to the, the five of you and says, I, I can't thank you enough. Is is my mother's body okay? Yeah, she's fine. Are you Mint too... condition. Thank you. Thank you so much. You you don't know what this means to me. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. We did this out of the goodness of our hearts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I kind of looked up. No, huh? we do want to be paid. Okay, good, good. Um, I... I ask him, mm -hmm. well, Buck's just a courier, right? I feel like that's really weird that he's going to come and like embrace him and say, like, I was so worried about you. Can I ask him, like, do you two know, are you two longtime friends? We are. I thought I made that clear earlier. If I didn't, I, I apologize. Yes, uh, I have used Buck as a courier many of times before. He's a, he's a good man, that Buck. Ah, okay. My um, character's name keeps changing back to Alka. I don't know if we can change that. Uh, yes, we will change it. Thanks. This is Matt. Here we go. Chad Barbo. And I wasn't there last time, by the way. Yeah. Chad. Uh, he doesn't seem to notice that you are not the person <laughs> here before. He seems to be content with it. how this had worked out in the end. Um, he looks over you guys and says, I, as I said before, I, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. Please, let me... Let me take care of your, your bar tab and your lodgings for at least a week. You seem to have been in some sort of fright. I'm sure Buck will, will tell me it all. And um, But let me pay you. I, I owe you money. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And I've he... racked up quite a tab at Tanner's Tavern. Can I see if he'll pay for that for me? Uh, would you pay like to ask him to? Yeah. Pay not with all of our? No, not with your money. He said he. Yeah. this sounded like for free. Oh. I, I'm sorry, I'm not a resident of Grumper, and I'm not going to take a trip all the way over there to clear your bar tab from before I met you? Have we met? He, he's joking. You don't need to do that. I see. A jester. Just Wonderful. pay us whatever you're comfortable with. We honestly did this because we wanted to help. Uh, no. What? This lady's incorrect. 
I have what? never been with a people who are so uncomfortable collecting payment for a day's work. Can you just pay us our gold and then we can be on our way? I, I want nothing more than to pay you your gold. Please. Thank you. Okay, yes. Uh, Thank you, sir. <laughs> he makes a motion to wait there, heads upstairs to go collect the money, uh, and comes back down, handing you each um, 12 gold coins, 30 silver coins. Oh, cool. Before he hands it to the gnome, I kind of remark, wasn't he sleeping the entire time? He did, was in a coffin. Did he really help out? Oh, Does he earn 12? Wait, what? Did you say he was in the coffin? No, 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 no. no. On, no. Near the coffin. No, Sorry. no, no. no. He, he was I coughing. I you said in the coffin. He, he no. was coughing. He was he sick. He was coughing. He had a fit of yes, coughing. Very sick. Very oh. sick. <laughs> we, uh. Sorry. He was... I'm getting old, Sorry. you know, these years. Yeah, it happens. Uh, My... <laughs> Thank you. I we will very be much appreciate so. your uh, gratuity. Thank you very much. We are going to head off and take a, a well-needed rest now, I believe. We're going to spend some numbers in the city. Give him a big handshake. Name's Chad. Chad Barbo. You've probably heard about me. Very famous. Um, Say goodbye. Not yet. Yeah. Goodbye. But Don't worry. You will. You won't hear about him. Chad, let's you step will. outside. I've got a good friend out here called Shut the Fuck Up. We can go talk to him <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> I go right a, with luck. There's a, a generous tip in there for you, he says as you guys head out the door. Merci beaucoup. All right, the two of you get outside and meet Shut the Fuck Up. He's standing there waiting for you. I challenge Locke to arm wrestling on this just real I quick. don't want to. Let's rest so that we can continue on whatever it is we're doing. What needs to be done around here? I finally have some gold again. I don't feel totally worthless. What can be done to clean this place up? My spirits are up. I feel like I've done a good deed. I feel like sleeping for seven days straight. Uh, I really enjoy hanging. I really enjoy adventuring with you, folk. We should do this again. Let's. Take a little vacation, let's, hang out uh, in the town for yeah, a week. Let's reconvene in seven days exactly. Sure, yeah. you guys, sounds yeah. good. That, that sounds like an appropriate number of days to rest. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I asked Locke if he wants to hang out during the seven days. Maybe, sure, yeah, we'll see. Um, I, uh, okay. Can I, I give, I'll give Midori two, how much does a drink cost? Uh, like five copper. Like five copper. I tip her five copper. You can have a drink on me. You did a good job this past encounter. Midori. I'll throw Midori a gold and give her a wink and say, thanks for grabbing my axe, Stacy. I okay. ignore a lock and then go hug Chad. <laughs> nice job. Please <laughs> subtract the gold that or copper I will, yeah. her from your character sheet. We got 12 gold, correct? Just 12 gold it. and and 50, 30 silver? 30 silver. Yeah, Sounds be, good. Yeah. Do um, what is what is this on our sheet? I see we've got bronze and then two silvery things and then gold. What is it? Electrum or something? Fucking ignore electrum. The third one down. Just never, never use that. You can put a big He's mad about electrum. There. Electrum okay. is a dumb currency. Got it. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I'm only gonna be paying electrum from now on. Okay, there Lily, I gave you no three copper. Electrum. Okay. It's like okay. the Bitcoin of the fantasy world. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we're going to meet again in uh, a week, right? Yeah, right here in one week. Exactly. Awesome. I turned to kind of. Can I Before to everybody ask, goes, can I, can I play you a bagpipe song? You're literally, you're still hosting and looks funny, like right now. Nope, oh. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It takes a little bit. We're good, right? Um, oh, okay. oh, wow. Nice yeah, you people. Set up. All right, I'm hosting. Here are our voices. Do you want me to, or Koibu, could you take a screenshot of both of their, um, uh, I'm trying to think if they could find, like, another rolling place to do their own rolls, right? Hmm. I, I, I think we have to just, like, if they want to, yeah, that's fine, too. I'm just going to lie about all my rolls. rolls. Oh, if, you're, if you feel like you're going to lie, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. I wouldn't really lie about these guys. Um, okay. To the chat, is there a volume? Are our volumes okay? Everyone's volumes okay? Test day, one, two, talk? three. Wait, oh, are everyone's saying a... you need to turn me up way louder. Are we gonna have a consistent episode this way? Like, how are we gonna actually put this okay. together into an episode for you two? Tell us to... Just don't worry about that. Okay. Don't even worry about that right now. That's, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Volume's good? Okay, cool. All right. Test. All right. All right. The day passes. <clears throat> the next day, our tracker shows up. Her name is Stacy. Hmm. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, her name's Stacy too. Mm, no, it's just Stacy, not Stacy. Donked. <laughs> he just donked me. Um. 
Sorry, I think you're figuring something out. Can we clip a little louder? All right. Oh, so, Stacy shows up. She goes and talks to Wyatt. The two of them come over to you. Wyatt says, "All right. So, Stacy here says she found the the spider's lair, and uh, she's willing to show you to it. But she's only been hired to find it. So, uh, you're the kill team. She's the hunting team. It's all work out. What about that uh, giant? Lily, uh, up volume on me and Corbu, please. I already did. I'm listening. Okay." Uh, I asked Wyatt, like, what about the giant? You went to talk to the sheriff? The sheriff said there's a hundred thousand copper reward for the giant's head. A hundred thousand copper. That's a thousand gold? Mm-hmm. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask Stacy. Stacy, did you see any giant inclination near there? Uh, surely did not. No giant footprints. No, no signs of giants. No signs of uh, anything, really, other than spiders. Wait, mm -hmm. would she be able to go check out? Since you want us to clear the spiders out, maybe it's good if she goes and checks out the other side, where maybe the giant was sighted, to see if it's over there. And then we would be good to go and clear Hold the spiders. Hold your horses, big boy. Hold on. Uh, why don't we take care of the spiders first and worry about the giants afterwards? You're going to need me to get you to where the spider is, and once that's done, we can come back, regroup, plan the giant for another time. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of worried you... that the giant's going to be near us. But I do believe you. I trust you. I mean, we should be able to hear a giant coming, right? Yeah. They're not the sneakiest of the... Yeah. You're okay. right. Uh, let's how much... Why are we wasting worry. time? Let's slay these spiders. Yeah, let us make yeah. quick work of it. How much would it cost for you to uh, lead us to the spider dens? That's already part of the job. Yeah, it's part okay. of the job. Oh. Wyatt's already hired me for that. Awesome. Why it yeah. nods as well. What do I do? I, my favorite pastime is putting together groups of people who want to do good and uh, finding funding for them. It's my my passion. All right, uh, let's go then. It's a good passion to have. Remember, if you if you want the bounty, and you don't have to take it, of course, if you don't want it. But if you want the bounty, the sh you're going to need to bring back the the spider head. I will make sure to bring that back for you, Wyatt. Good, 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 good. And uh, off you guys go. Oh, uh, can I uh, make my steel check after my one oh, week of? Right, uh, right. We were gonna wait for your thing to show up, and it did not. Uh, I'm gonna just roll your sleight of hand check for you. Uh oh. Are you all right with that? Yes, I'm very okay with it. Fifteen. Oof. Uh, nine and six is fifteen. Is pretty good. So let's see what you gain. Oh, that's actually maybe you don't get caught doing anything, but uh, apparently the people of this town aren't so wealthy. You managed to accrue a total of one gold piece, six co uh, silver pieces, and 12 copper. Yeah, you pick a one. few pockets, but it's chump change across the board. Is Worth this it. a black screen for anyone else? Yeah, me too. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it should be a black screen for all of you. Oh, no, no, it is. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. I'm so yeah. scared. Oh. <laughs> all right. Um, yes. As we all go right. on, so is there anything remarkable about this, about this journey? Like, is it a long way? Or do we do I need to send a scout or anything like that? Corbett? It is not a terribly long way. Uh, oh, Stacy so will lead you here of her own accord. You can be there in Ooh. less than a day. It's like a, a five-hour walk from town. Okay, um, I will just send my uh, my owl ahead to scout the 120 feet um, ahead at, at Stacy's direction, just kind of like walking along with her, like figuring that out just in case. Mm -hmm. um, are we on the journey right now? Yeah. Then I sing a song. Here we go. I'm going to take out my bagpipes and I'm going to sing everyone a song. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Hello there, me old chum. We're on a spider hunt. It's true. A difficult fight is due. If we work together, we'll see it through. Wow. Wow. That's good. That's Amazing. Good. You know what? You've had Chad some... visibly cringes. <laughs> You've had some great songs so far, Gerald. Uh... Why don't you take a inspiration <gasps> for all oh. of your wonderful songs and rhyming? Yay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. After many hours of journeying, eventually you make your way towards this cave in the woods, halfway between Fenden and Grumpbird, maybe not quite halfway. And Stacy points at the cave in front of you and says, well, 
That's where I saw the spider go yesterday. I poked my head in just a little bit, and it's uh, kind of webby in there. You saw the spider? No. I saw the tracks of the spider and signs of the spider. Got but it. I did not see the spider myself. Mm. Uh, I light a torch, I guess, and say, let's adventure on. Okay. Uh, I asked yeah. my buddy Locke to walk right next to me. Wait, are we no, go- Chad, you can lead the way. You're the spider wait, killing expert. Wait, I don't want to take the uh, wind from your sails. Guys, guys, are we going inside this cave? That's where the spider is, Midori. Is it dark? Yeah. Why got a torch, Midori? Why use a torch when you can light? You know light- what? Use your spell and light it. <laughs> Uh, so my spell, I can light anything uh, within 20 feet of size, whatever, or whatever. Light my axe. Okay! I want to light his axe. Wait. Can I read his Can he light the spider webs on fire? No! No, it's not, it's not fire. It's just lighting it. Like, it's not a fire innocent. There might be innocent people captured within these webs. You can't run the risk of setting them on fire. Listen to you. I know, but C. Lin was talking about setting the goddamn webs on fire, and I want to make sure we're all clear. And she lit it on fire, so obviously I don't have a fire. We understand for the 15th time that your spell does not set things on fire. Just taking a quick glance at you, it's obvious you'd be incapable of setting even a fly on fire. Okay. That lets things go on fire. Why are you so mean to me all the time, huh? Can you light his axe so that he can lead us into the cave so we can slay the spider and carry on with it? I mean, not on fire. Oh my my god. God. Uh, Does it light on fire or not? It's not a fire. It's not. That'd be pretty cool if my axe was on fire. Friends, we should consider our health. Perhaps we should not use a light and focus on stealth. But we can't I have a Spiders feeling that any, it's going to have more eyes than we do collectively. I don't think that yeah. traveling through a dark cave is going to be much benefit to us. I start walking with my axe firmly Wait. lit. Okay, all right. Okay. Wait. Well, okay. feel free to move yourself. Oh, you. um, but I don't feel free. But before you go anywhere, Locke and Seelin, uh, tell me your relative to positioning to the other party members, and I'll keep you in line with them. I'll be ten steps behind Chad. Okay, and so I'll uh, stand next to Gerald. I'm not okay. gonna let him be ten steps behind me. You're the spider killing expert. Would Locke really let someone die? Are you role playing correctly? <coughs> You're the Are spider you... killing expert. I would defer to your. Uh... I'll defer to you here. So, yeah, <laughs> oh, take, take the I lead. am the spider killing expert. I'm gonna always be conscious about where Locke is and make sure that he doesn't fall <coughs> too far behind. Okay, ten feet is good. <laughs> Four feet. I don't have much to say about our fighter named Locke. He's good in a fight, but kind of a cock. <laughs> Try, I got it to load for me, if you guys want to give it another Oh, shot. well, aren't you cool? Yeah. I apparently cannot convert nil into integer. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Wait, what? 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 Well, that's just the error I get when I try to load the site. That's, that's a great error. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Those integers okay. always giving you trouble, you know? Never mind. Works for a moment. Okay, so the party goes in. Chad, lead the way. Locke will be a few steps behind you. Um, can I do like a quick like a quick perception check around to see oh if God. I see anything that's gonna like fuck us up? Yeah, give me a perception check. Um What'd you get here? A twenty. Yeah, you're Ooh. looking around. It's a pretty empty forest. Okay. Um there's some birds about. That's a little quiet. You know. I guess I'll just head over. Move yourself where you would like to be. All right, and Locke is going to follow along behind you. I'm going to move Seelin after Gerald. Uh, Midori and Gerald, uh, you're going to move. Whoa, Locke's first. way too far back. <laughs> it's like 10 feet. Yeah, That's you should. good. That's good. That's Perfect. Good. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, so go ahead. We're not in combat, so you can just sort of move yourself as you please. But if you move yourself too far and run into something, I'm going to ask you to stop and whatnot. Roll initiative. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like Chad and Locke and Gerald are, are headed forward. Midori, are you going in? Can you move my... Ca- I am so laggy right now. And oh. I, don't, I can't refresh. What are with these offline PCs? No, it's it was fine before I started the stream problem. thing. Just, I'm just following, trailing behind, you know? Oh, I, um, if you guys refresh, I actually loaded in on my duplicate browser. <gasps> I, I just have another one up, so I loaded yeah, I'm in. getting really close. I'm on the closest screen I've gotten so far. I just didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> 
This is the real uh, battle that's going on off stream right now. So Chad and Locke are deep into the cave. Well, I, I thought like everybody else was with us. Oh god. <laughs> you look around, no one's AFK. behind you whatsoever. Oh, all right, I head back because <laughs> these guys are just not, you know, just upset. But I head back cautiously to go right, get so the. So this party. room that you're in right now, Chad, is covered with spider webs everywhere. I think you yeah. can see them on the overlay. These I see them. Big webs with these thick strands, kind of covering the sides. There's this path in between that is unobstructed. Wait, wait, so, wait, 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 I gotta go back for the party because they're NPCs and they're hanging out. <laughs> um, if I if I go through the um, yeah, part, if I go through into the cave behind Ceylon and Midori, uh, mm -hmm. I should have 120 feet of dark vision, right? You, that sounds like you have 60 feet, right? 120 is deep now. Oh. Right. And, and, this, this, the, and uh, since this is a cave, I have an advantage to stealth, too. <laughs> Let me go take a look at this deep known shenanigans. Yeah. Gnomes. Are you guys in here now? Still floating? <laughs> I, I, I'm, uh, I'm going in behind Ceylon uh, and Midori. So. Forest but I assume they moved in. Oh, deep gnome is from a... Additional. Oh, here it is. Oh, come on! I think I'm. I think I'm coming back. Get in. <laughs> uh. Deep gnomes have 120. Yeah. Are they in a separate book? Should be in uh, XG, right? Okay. If they're in Xanthor's Guide, that's where they are. Let me see. Uh. Yeah, it's dark vision is radius 120 feet. Um, advantage on dexterity checks, stealth checks in rocky terrain. Fantastic. You now have 120 dark vision. Whoa. Do you, do you see my character moving around? Yeah, I yeah. do. Oh, Thank God. Are you back? What? Welcome back. Okay. You want to see? Do you have to keep refreshing? Just don't worry about it, Toast. This is for advanced. Oh. Advanced players only. Go back to Hearthstone. Ouch. Rip was playing all three of the card games. Toss all right, Chad. Lead the are way. We, is can my party all follow? Are you guys coming? Yep, we're here. Ten feet behind. Everybody, up, you're coming. All right. I'm going Steve, in. Move your fucking character. <laughs> Thank you. What do you see up there, Chad? <laughs> so, uh, so nothing to worry about. Let's keep going. Maybe we should cut down these webs before um, we advance any further, just in case we need to come out quickly. So is this is this reflect is my dark vision reflecting on the map? Is that how it works? I don't it understand. It should what be you should be able to see 120 feet. Let me just test that real quick. Uh, you're, yeah, you're Gerald. You should be able to see as far as the map will let you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Can we handle these um these webs just in case we need to? Everybody. I don't. I'm not here to clean caves out. We should. Um, uh, I am gonna start cutting it if it's okay with the long sword. Yeah, Chad we were. Hey, uh, if you want to lead the party, then go. Walk ahead, bitch. Ouch, guys. I Chad's believe we time. should just light these webs on fire to get it out of the way. You know who has a secret flame cantrip? This cleric. Despite its name, Sacred Flame is a is flame like radius. Just kidding. Not I was fire. just joking. I did I knew that. Good night. Can we, can Midori try to set something on fire when we just watch it glow brightly? Yes. I have magical skill. I can light these webs on fire at will. That would be great, Gnome. Okay, do you want to back up and let him light it on fire? Yep. All right. There's no way that the fire is going to proceed through the entire cave, right? Can we see that? I can see that the webs end um, about, I would say the webs end All about right. 20 feet ahead. Light away. Set All right. Blaze. I would like to leave the cave first. Before he Thank you for doing this, Gnome. It fills me with glee. You're really warming up to me. <gasps> wow. I, I, I just look at I look at Chad and I smile and a big smile. Um, okay, I want to do two things. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to cantrip a minor illusion of a of a gnome, a lifelike lawn gnome, uh, right here. All right. And and, um, uh, and and he's gonna look like he's casting spells. And then the second thing I want to do is actually cast a spell. Um, I think I could use Prestig. Is what would be more effective? I think Prestig. Prestig. I can never pronounce that fucking spell. 
whatever it is. Um, that lights stuff on fire, but Firebolt also lights stuff on fire. But it's I, up I don't to think Prestidigitation will actually create fire. Okay, so Firebolt will, though. It's harmless sensory effect. Firebolt will create fire. So let's do that. Um, let's let's send uh, some Firebolts through the webs to, to sure. burn them up. Um, Midori, are you going to chill there while he does this? No, I'm just really lagging. You so. should. Okay. Yeah, you should. Cool. So you're you're not gonna stand in the way of all the burning flames. No, 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 no. Yep. All right, Gerald. You start throwing little fire bolts. The webs sizzle and burn, uh, and leave no trace behind in this first room. All right, I'm gonna let's move forward, lads. Arcane mastery is my forte. Get incinerated and burn away. Can I like look up and make sure there's nothing on like the top of the fucking cave? Yeah, it's a good thing you look up. Uh, there are a few webs up there, but there doesn't Ooh. seem to be anything alive. Point at the little gnome. And I kind of point uh, up and like say, will you get those for me? Indeed, a wise choice. And then I send a couple of firebolts up there. To burn. You blast the webs away, they're gone. A little bit of cinders rain down on top of you. Um, I say, all right, let's keep going. We all good? Lead the way, Chad. Come on, Locke. I know you're a little scared back there, but why don't you get closer to me? <laughs> you think I'm gonna hit you? I just don't want to get away in the way of the spider killing expert. Ah, that's good. Um, I asked the gnome to get these and look up too to make sure there's no spider or anything there's crazy. Some spider up there. webs around, yeah. Okay. Um, I is there spider webs to the top right, Koivu, or is that just like cave art? That's spider webs. That's spider webs. Okay. Mhm. Mm -hmm. End it. Uh, I need some. Hang on a second. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna continue to uh, to cover the. I need some cover. I need people to move up a little bit. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's see. Okay. Okay, Chad's like right there. Okay, there's spider webs to the top right and up there, right? Um, did can I roll a per? Oh, Chad already rolled a perception check on this room. That was outside. I have danger danger sense, so like. Um, I'm just gonna roll that. a quick perception check um, above, up in those webs as well before I do anything. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, you can just see. Yeah, there's spider webs on the ceiling. They're everywhere. Nothing. Okay. Nothing exciting that I see. Nothing exciting. Just spider webs. I'll um, I'll firebolt through those as well. All right. You bolt through the spider webs on the ceiling. Did you want to do the ones in the the corner of the room? Yes. All right. The spider webs burn away. Um. All right, all right. Let's keep going. For a danger sense, do I have to like tell you, or will you tell me, like it's happening? Um, uh, it reads as um. Advantage on something, right? You gain an uncanny, an uncanny sense of when things nearby nearby aren't as they should be, giving you an edge when you dodge away from the danger. You have an advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see, such so as danger spells. So, so danger sense nothing. isn't gonna like make me like Spider-Man, right? Where I feel something. Okay, cool. Not in the slightest. Thank Koibu, you. as I, sorry, go. go for it. Um, as I continue to move around, I want to also do a stealth check with advantage for the no memes and just, to, uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I would be trying to move stealthy as far as I know I'm moving stealthy. And I'd also be creating that minor image in front of me of that gnome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I ask which, Oh, Where did you yep. replace the image of the gnome? Because it's not back here anymore, right? Yeah, he's not there. So, um, well, it actually depends on where the party's moving. Let's decide that first. There's a lot of tunnels here. Which way do you want to go, Chad? Where's the spider at? I fear what are you feeling, Locke? Danger may be near. I don't know. I don't know anything about spiders. Midori, <laughs> stop. <laughs> What's your spider sense um... telling you, Chad? Can I see any spider tracks or any like weird web shit? With like, what, what would I roll for that? I mean, you're in a it's spider's lair. Listen. There's spiders, tracks, and Every, web everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. All right. is a sign of I feel like we should go straight. My vision is quite deft. I think that there may be more to the left. <laughs> oh, well, if he thinks there's more to the left, we can go there. Gnome, do you think that's the right way? That's what I said. I believe Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with Gerald. Wait. <laughs> Oh, hold the on. spider okay. killing What's mouse up, making direction from a gnome. Interesting. Don't you have an owl? 
Um, yeah. Oh shit! I do have an owl. Why the, um, Why doesn't the okay. owl scout ahead? Let's mm -hmm. send. Let's send the owl. Um. Up. Koibu, let's send the owl. Like. Ooh. Let me think about this. Owl's gonna get caught in the webs. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's. Uh. Let's look. Let me move here. And just see what I see. Can I roll a perception check in this room to the left? Do I need to roll another one? Yeah, totally. Give me a check. Okay. Look All around. Right. Sorry, I did the wrong button. Uh... It's all good. Okay. Yeah, it looks spider free. <laughs> yeah. Um, can, is it possible for the owl to assist in a perception check from where, I, where, where it is with me? Where is the owl presently? He's on my shoulder. He's chilling. He, he's doing that weird thing with his head where he goes all the way around. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can use the owl's perception instead of your own. It has a perception check of plus three. So the same as yours. So, so, it, does, no so it doesn't benefit. matter. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, say let's keep going. Oh, I'm sorry, no, the owl has advantage on wiz uh, perception checks. So you can roll it at, at advantage with the owl, which would have given you an 18 instead of a 12. OK, uh, does that change so your answer? Yeah, it's, it's fighter, yeah, it's fighter free. It's cool. <laughs> All right, um, I report that to my party. Okay, let's go this All way. Right. All right, to the left? Yeah. Pause. Keep clearing the... I'm going to also cast uh, Spire Built uh, cantrips on the webs in the top right uh, first. Mm -hmm. So you start and... clearing out these webs. You get the yes. ones up here on the top right. Boop. Uh, spider web's gone. Above us? Yep, you get the ones on the ceiling that can't be shown on the map. Yeah. And then the Why ones below. Why can't I see anyone's avatar? Can you really not? No. Uh, I see can't myself. See what? She can't see anybody else's avatar except herself. I just oh. uh, wait. No, I see lock now. Actually, if the party wants to wait like um, ten minutes, I could also set up a, um, a ritual, which is an alarm. So if something happens behind us, we can actually like it'll let me know. Uh, and I could do it in like, let's say this place right here. Up to you guys if you want me to do it. But I like, mean, what here. good is it to tell us if something's already cornered us in, gnome? Idiot gnome. I'm trying to gain favor with Locke, is it? <laughs> cool. Well, when you all die, um, uh, I, mean, I, I, I agree <laughs> with the gnome here. I, I've heard many a tale of uh, adventuring party taken from behind. Yeah, have you ever heard of a, ambushes? Like, you know, surprise rounds and shit? Mm, I'm willing okay. to wait the 10 minutes. Sure, we can. Hey, while cool. we do that, real quick, I'm sorry. And the Which spider's gonna shoot a web at you. <laughs> what? Because apparently the people that could see it coming didn't notice me slowly moving the spider down the hallway towards them. And uh, it comes around a corner, and wait. there's a fucking giant spider. Chad. I can't even see the spider, honestly. I can, yeah. It's... Hey, wait, real quick, I'm so sorry, Koibu. How do I add my HP? I'm still at 13. What did I get before? Uh, <laughs> you didn't uh, update me. You uh, got a five and a three for an eight. Got it, so 21. Okay, cool. That's yeah. all Mine might need to be updated as well. Cool. Yes, yours will probably need to be updated. Did you make it in, Ceiling? Uh, not yet, I'm still. Okay. Unreal. What did you, did anyone remember what rolled for Ceiling? I think that rolled in. I rolled, rolled eight. something, didn't eight? Yeah. Six, and eight. Six and two is yep. eight. So yep. you should have 18 and you should be at max. Should I be seeing the spider on my screen right now? Chad, do you not see the spider? I do not see it on my screen. I'm I don't blind. See oh this. no, you've got um your vision's too small. You've only got like the slit. Okay. Yep. Thing the spider Same is too. just outside of your spot range. Uh, so before Midori gets to move, the spider will shoot its web at Ceylon and Gerald, and then we're gonna roll initiative. There so, is a there's an acrobatic dodge. Dodges me. Make sure we all click our characters. Let's open up our giant customized spider. Oh Pretty much all the God. monsters you guys will see in this are going to have some level of customization to them. So if you're looking for hints in the monsters manual, it's not really gonna help. Uh, Celin and Gerald, I need you to make me dexterity saving throws. Oh, I got this. Spider shoots a freaking web at you. With advantage, because I'm on rocky terrain. <laughs> Do you make dex checks at advantage? Yes, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, oh my god. Gnomes. Totally Let's go! solid. She's Gerald, dead. you've rolled initiative. You're in then, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm, of course, I'm looking at Seelin. Seelin hasn't rolled his check, because you're still not here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to roll your, your check for you. Yes, sir. Uh, 
which is an 11. It is not a pass. Seelin is webbed. Of course I am. What happens when you're webbed? You just can't move at all? You are restrained. Your movement becomes zero. And enemies have advantage against you. Would it be a f full action to like get him out? It is an action on his part or someone else's part to get him out. The webs have a certain amount of HP, so you just have to make attack rolls against the webs. And, or he can make a check of his own. Restrain. Creature speed is zero. It can't benefit from any bonus. It cannot benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against it have advantage. The creature has disadvantage on its attack rolls, and it has disadvantage on saving throws. So the only person that Lily can see, I think, is Locke. Um, it's so laggy. Oh my god. Oh, just like it, hurts. it hurts. I don't know what what's going on with your vision there. It looks it's... like roll twenty is just dying. Well, wait, all. is it her whole computer? Because like OBS is like just it. It. No, everything is fine except the site. <laughs> yeah, the dynamic lighting plays havoc if you have your uh, what do you call it? Hardware acceleration turned off in Chrome, which of course you need to capture Chrome. So. Gotcha. Is Lily's stream lagging too? Because it looks like oh your whole stream is. Oh my god, my stream is lagging too. Is Maybe. it your internet or is your computer getting kind of messed up? I don't know. You're back I... in, Steve. Can you host it now? Right. I'm going to turn off the dynamic lighting since you're already in the room. Steven, with Spider. This it's will your give you turn. All a Thank you. Slight advantage, but it should also make things run a little smoother. Oh, I see this. Oh my god, that's a big spider. Yeah, it's a big ass spider. Oh, it's a lot better now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, why well, am I the closest? Wait, can you go ahead and turn off my dynamic light? <laughs> I turned it off for everyone. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't see anything. Or is it because I'm not around the corner or something? Do you not see the giant ass spider? Nope. Oh. Right, it looks like I got lighting that extends in a radius from my body right now in a square. What the hell? <laughs> Roll 20 is flipping shit. Yeah. I'm suing them. Oh, hey, there we go. Hey, that's a pretty big go. spider. It's a pretty big spider, yeah. <laughs> So, Seelin is webbed, Gerald is freed, and Gerald starts. Okay. Um, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Um, behind Locke and Chad. Is this cover? Uh, what's what's up? What's this place up here? That's, like, five feet up. Um, like okay, I'm just going to go up on that ledge. I, I scream at the gnome as he runs away. Good gnome, please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got you. Hang on. I, <laughs> okay, so All I'm right. going to go there. You will provoke an attack of opportunity from the spider if you move away. No, I shouldn't because... Okay, fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's a big-ass spider. Up away, right? He's a big-ass spider. Name? He can reach you from there. Fuck, I take a full disengage action and fucking go over there. Oh, sure? my it's God. It's only one attack. It's not Little that big of a deal. Bitch, no. Like, let me think about it. Hang on. <laughs> That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. I take a full disengage action. I'm back. All right, you bolt like a wise man. Mm -hmm. uh, Midori. Oh wait, so Seelin right now is tied up. Uh, actually, Seelin should go before you, Midori. Okay. Just, but uh, you're restrained, Seelin. Mm -hmm. You can try and break free of the restraints using an action. It will be an opposed. It'd be an athletics check. Athletics. Well, strength check. A strength check. Strength check. Oh, I don't have a lot of strength. Yeah. Wait, uh, can I? What am I? Wait, can't they just go first in front of and use resistance? No. Nope. Nope. Seelan goes first. It's his God turn. Damn. Uh, what are my other options? Uh, you could try and attack the webs around you instead of making a check. Is he able to just, just attack the spider and stay stationary? You can attack the spider at disadvantage. Oh, never mind. Hmm, what about uh, like a torch? Do That's you have in... a torch? Yes, I, I, it should be one of my items. It's in your bag. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you to make me an acrobatics check to get the torch out because it's, you know, in your backpack and you're covered in webs, so it's going to be difficult. All right, let's do an acrobatic. All right. Eight. Failure. <laughs> you, your backpack is sealed shut with web. You can't get to it. What are you going to do? Oh, um... Can I take a uh, dodge action? Yes, yes you can. That will right. negate the advantage the spider has on you. Uh, Midori, it is your turn. Uh, <laughs> what can I do to Seelin? Um, should I use a spell? 
no. Uh, 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 well. If only these webs can be gotten rid of through fire or an attack with a sharp weapon. Yeah, light them on fire. Midori, quick! You can make the webs glow! <laughs> Shut Use up, your sacred Quack. flame! Okay, what if I have a torch? Can't I go up to ceiling and like lightly torch the webs off? Lightly burn the webs off of the person covered with them? Yeah, you're <laughs> right. Okay, um, what about oh, ceiling? I don't know what to tell you. I can, <laughs> I can use a. Midori, take an action, or you're gonna lose your turn. Okay, all right. Midori, I... just fight the spider. Okay, all right. sacred. We have to kill it. Sacred flame him, sure. All right, you sacred flame the spider. Roll it. Where is it? Sorry, I don't know. Oh, uh, this thing. <laughs> it needs to make a dexterity a saving throw, which it passes with flying colors. The sacred flame descends to the side of the spider. Yeah. I'm Ooh, it doesn't so even do, like, useless. Half damage. Nope, nothing. It's a cantrip. Lock. All right, I have 30 feet of movement, right? Yes. Okay, I move forward next to my good friend C. Lin, my noble warrior. Um, I believe, like, right here I should be able to hit the spider, right? Yeah. Yeah, you um, got a pole arm, right? It's got reach. Oh, yeah, I do. I got a halberd. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I'm going to step... Actually, okay, th this should be, like, 30 feet total right here, right? Yeah, it is. I'm going to go ahead and take a swing at it. Sure, close Do I get Seven advantage because eight. it's so huge? Nope. <laughs> All right, I'll swing my pole arm. Comes around and whaps it in the side for four points of damage. All right. Uh, Chad of the Barbos. I'm going right here. I'm going to use a reckless attack on the spider. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. The spider goes first. It's somehow out oh, of sorry. order, though. My mistake. Roll 20, get your shit together. Uh, the spider will roll to see if its web recharges, which it does not. And it will turn to Locke, who is not bound, and it will bite you <gasps> with a 20 to hit. Oof. Uh, you take seven piercing damage, and we're going to ask you to make me a very special constitution saving throw. It's going to be your d20 plus your whole constitution score, because we've got some customized poisons for this sucker. Uh, okay, so am I going to um, I have to roll this on my own? You gotta roll it on your own. Okay, so roll 1d20 plus 16? Yes. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Good five. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Flying colors. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, nothing happens. You're good. He feels oh, okay. good. Yeah. Uh, now it's Chad's turn. Alright, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna use um, Reckless Attack so I gain uh -oh. advantage. How on? Or, oh, never mind. I'm also going to use um, Great Weapon Mastery, and I'm going to take the minus five to my hit. Okay. And I'll get plus 10 damage. Um, yep. So we'll just need to subtract five from this. So a 21 minus five is 16, hits the spider, and you For do 25. 25 damage to Fuck. it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! A huge Whoa. chunk of the spider's life just Ooh. vanishes. I just Good look turn. at Locke. I just give him. I just give him the eyes, dude. God, Chad's so job, cool. Chad. Gerald, you. it's your turn. Sorry, who's? Gerald. Okay. Um, I'm gonna set the spider. Or sorry, I'm gonna just. I'll, I'll, I'll do the owl second. But the, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a silent. Uh, I'm gonna use minor illusion to augment a silent image. And I'll put a five foot tall, which is the max I can do, buzzing giant fly in front of the <laughs> spider. Okay. And uh, with that, with that, and then with my second action, I'll just ready help on Locke's next attack. Uh, how do you get two actions? I don't have, I, I just that's the owl's action, sorry. Oh, the owl's action is going to help. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, C-Lin, you are still bound by this web. Ooh. Um. <laughs> I take a whack at him with my spear. Give me a roll to hit at disadvantage. Right. Oh, God. You're not here, are you? You're still Roller. Here. Where is your spear? Uh, a 17 will hit the spider Ooh. for six points of damage. Nice. Wonderful. And don't you have a follow-up unarmed attack? Oh, uh, am I? Is the web still not broken? The web is still on you. Okay. Um, I would like to spend 
one key point to allow me two unarmed strikes. Excellent. I will make both of them on your behalf. Thank you. Uh, first strike at disadvantage is a 14 for eight bludgeoning damage against the spider. I think you just kind of like reach out, grab one of its legs, and just snap it at the end of it. So it kind of crumples and dangles limply and loosely. Oh. Uh, minus eight damage. And the second unarmed strike from you is a 21 for six points Whoa! of damage, even with disadvantage. Yeah. Well, how do you do general. so much damage even though you're like bound in place? Uh, my feet may be bound, but my fist has no fury. <laughs> Gorn. Has no fury? Okay. Has no fury. Midori, it's your turn. Can I cast resistance on Seelin? You may. Okay. Oh, I took damage, but my HP bar is not updating for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay. Um, resistance, what does that do for us? I think, um, his next saving throw, he cannot afford E. Ah, right? okay. That's it. D4 to it? Wonderful. D4, sorry. Anything else <laughs> you want to do, Midori? Oh, I can do more. Uh, do you want to move? Is there... Can That's I... an action. I can't, I can't. Can I attack? Or I, I'm no. done, right? No, okay. Yeah. And, and I, and I, and I, and I, that's it. That's all I do. Cool. Lock, <laughs> it's your turn. Um, uh, I will take a swing with my mighty halberd. Listen, Critical man. hit Ooh. for 15 damage. The spider is hacked into and bleeding profusely. Uh, I'll throw another seven on top. <laughs> it is a badly <laughs> wounded arachnid. It's going to take the disengage action on its turn. Little and spider. move up to its full movement speed, which is 40 feet. I'm gonna disengage give means a... absolutely no opportunity attacks, even with... Uh, you know, Unless okay. you have Sentinel. Yeah, you gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Chad, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna look at Locke and say, let's go. And go get him, Chad. Forward. 40 feet, out. your movement is only 30, so you can close to it, but you can't attack it. Get behind it, Chad. Take a dash, get behind it. Wait, I really can't? Right here? It moved. Oh, never mind. I see. I see. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just get near. All right, you move all the way. And I did 30. give Locke a thumbs up for his attack. I thought it was oh, really thanks. nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go here, and then am I able to hide behind here? Like, wait. take a second yeah. move and get behind. I'm gonna it, take Chad. a second move, and I'm just gonna get behind it. Is that okay? Uh, you're not gonna be able to move through it square without some sort of athletics or acrobatics check contested by the spider. Yeah, I'll just throw up a athletics check. I'm gonna try and jump over his fucking thing and just get behind him. Okay, give me an opposed athletics check against the spider who rolls a 21 and you roll a natural one. You go to leap at the spider and it just smack. looks up and it takes a free bite action at you because this is just terrible. Right. You rolled a yeah. fucking one. Yeah. Um, it bites you with a 17 to hit. It gets it. Ooh. And you take six piercing damage and you also need to make me a very special constitution saving yeah. throw. Um, plus my, like, plus 16 or plus 3? Plus 16. Oh, nice. Chad! Ooh, is that what Locke get? rolled, though? No, he rolled better than that. Uh, Don't worry, nothing happens yet. Yeah. yeah, in an hour, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Though, so. Uh, and then you land right here in front of the spider. Yeah. Uh, Gerald. No one saw it, though. Everyone um, saw it. I will... <laughs> oh, no one saw it. Read. You're moving to there. I think so. Um, yeah. 25. It's golden. Or the side can move. Um, and with my dark vision, um, I should be able to see the spider. I should be in vision. If not, uh, am I? I think you. There. I think there are walls. It's not a, a dark vision thing. I think it's an angular vision thing. Okay. Um, I can see through my owl to deliver a spell. Mm, you're gonna need line of effect if you're gonna like throw a fireball at it or something. No, uh, Toll the Dead is a mental spell, so I should be able to, to throw I still think you need to see it. it. I don't think you can Toll the Dead from behind a closed door, you know? Okay, I I'll set... Think, I think you need to say. Well, then I... The uh, only option, then, is to set Owl on... Uh, can I... Can I... Other question is, can I actually set the Owl uh, to assist Chad by giving Spider disadvantage on the attack? Yeah, you can send the Owl to go harass the Spider and sort okay. of try and distract it. I'll do that, and since I can't do anything else on my turn, I will just prepare a ready action to dismiss if it gets attacked. 
I'm sorry. Or you could uh, remove these you... webs around me. I could, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> I'm gonna oh <laughs> ask you to give me a dexterity saving throw for your owl. That's gonna be a d20 plus one to avoid flying into the spider webs because this is how a spider lives by trapping flying creatures. Okay. Uh, so you want a dexterity check for the owl? Yeah. Every okay. round that it's in flight. Uh, D20 plus one is the check. Okay. Yeah. It flies over and starts harassing the, the spider with kind of dive bombing, swooping motions. Seelin. Well, this web still is on me since none of my teammates opted to help me. I will remember this. Wait, I, what? I strike at it with my spear. Go ahead and make an attack roll against your webs around you at disadvantage because you're restrained. Get rid of, go. Oh, that's right, it's up to me, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you will, hey, you cut through most of the webs. They are still a little bit left, and I think you have your unarmed strike if you'd like. Uh... Ooh, no, because the webs are immune to bludgeoning damage. Your unarmed strike will not help you against them. All right, I'm, I'm going to wait then. Okay, Midori. Okay, Seelin, let's get these webs off of you. <laughs> what do I have to roll for this? Do you have an edged weapon? An edged weapon. I have a mace. I have some cross... Bolt, bolts, I have, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, make me an attack with your crossbow. So I just uh, roll the crossbow? Just roll the crossbow. Be careful, m'lady. <laughs> Don't Ooh, shoot critical me. Hit. You clear the remaining webs. Seelin is freed. Oh, God. My thanks. No problem, bro. Is that all? Is that all I do? You can move if you want. Nah, I'm good here. Get Wait, up actually, there, Midori. I'll, 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 I'll inch closer. Inch, I'm, I'm inching right. closer. Here we go. Oh. Lock, it's your turn. All right, Seelin is free. Um, I can move 30 paces. Hold on, right click. <laughs> the spider Ooh. should just be out of range. since. Is he, he just can... out of range? You I were I... at range before and it moved 40 away from you. So by definition, it should be out of range. Yeah, just well, but I was dash like... up there. Get behind it, Steve. I was like right next to him though, right? And I've got Steve, 10 feet of range. just get behind it. It'll give us fucking okay, no, Just no. get behind it, dude. That would mean you're five feet short. Just go behind it. Just jump. Come on. He needs a respect light. Okay. Yeah, you know, actually, I saw what happened to Chad. And uh, well, yeah. He didn't see. He didn't see what happened. <laughs> I'm going to move right up here next to... Uh, this little... Next to Chad. All yeah, right. the beta he lock. Close. That's true the distance to Chad. The spider goes, it Oops. will web both Chad and Locke. Give me dexterity saving throws. That ain't my, DC that ain't 14. my. That ain't it, Chief, but it was it, Chief. You are fine, Chad, you are not. Hey. Bad. Oh, you're both bitch. totally fine. Okay, and it will also make a bite against. With disadvantage, right? Uh, it does have disadvantage, yes. It will make a bite against Chad, who's the closest one. Uh, with a 21 to hit, Chad, you take nine more damage and make Nothing. me another constitution saving throw, the special kind. Huge loss for the microphone. <laughs> you are fine. Totally fine. Don't sweat it. The spider's not really a threat. Don't worry about it. It's your turn, Chad. Ah, uh, fuck it, dude. Reckless attack is ass. Um, with Great Weapon Master. We're gonna do the same thing as before. I th think it's this one. Ooh, that'll hit. Um, and then Ooh. yeah, 18 damage. You bring the ax down on the spider, it cracks and splits. The legs go to either side and the spider lays flat against the ground. I just looked a lot. <laughs> Spiders are kind of my thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job, Chad. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I go for like a little bro fist. Well done, friends. It was upon Chad that our victory depends. Chad is so cool. I'm Chad gonna fucking so chop cool. that thing's head off if I am allowed. You are required. Do you want to pay? I do it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll take a little while. You're gonna have to hack into it over and over again to get the the front part of the head out. I do it with my sword. Sure. Um, 
while ha Chad is hacking the spider to bits, the rest of the party can reconvene and talk about what's going on here. Uh, any thoughts on what happened, Gerald? Hmm. It's time to sing a wonderful song oh. about Chad Barbel, whose stories are exempl about exemplify the fact that he's strong. A protector of friends, a seducer of women. Men want to be him, and women want to be with him. Strongest wow. man alive. His name's Chad. Chad Barber. Beautiful. The greatest okay. of lads. Let's search the cave. Let's see if there's anything of value here, huh? Yeah. Is Chad feeling all right? Uh... More importantly, let's see if there's a... <laughs> Uh-oh. You guys start searching the cave, and in the back of it, behind where the spider's corpse is, you will find two... Uh, webbed and seemingly dead bodies in a large spider web kind of dangling between uh, a column and some raised ground. Are we able to cut these bodies out or? You, yeah, you could probably cut the webs down. Easy. You got time. There's no more spiders here. Cut, 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 cut. So he says. Yeah, you yeah. hack the webs to bits. You retrieve the two bodies. Uh, they are mummified, desiccated. It looks like they've had all of their inside juices sucked out. Uh, can I search the right body? Yes. Yes, you can. Do I find Give it? me a... No, it's fine. It's fine. The, the bodies are of one seemingly peasant who's got like five copper coins on him Aww. and some really old moldy food. And the other one appears to be maybe a knight of sorts. It's someone with um, chainmail armor. There's a shield still stuck to their arm, a sword still strapped to their hand. Uh, they've got a helmet with a visor that's up, and there's like a big puncture mark in the square of their chest where the spider's been sucking all the good juices out. Uh, is there like uh, anything on the night, like a necklace, trinket, ring, some there kind of valuable? There is a sigil, a house sigil on the knight's shield. It is a red horse against a black background. No, other way around. Black horse against a red background. Would I know this being from a military background near um, that? No, this is not any of the houses nearby where you are from. Got it. Can I run an investigation check on the sigil? Do you, maybe a history check instead of an investigation check. Okay. Um, yeah, try that. Yeah, you've heard of this family before. Let me just look up their name right here. Come on, hard drive, spin up. Uh, it is the Black Mare family. Their words are fear our wrath. I think we should bring it back. Yeah, we should bring back old bodies if we can. Yeah. yeah. Well, that means something to somebody. Okay. Yeah. Grant us some favor and it'd be a good deed, Locke, right? Yeah, definitely. Amen, brother. Yeah. Pound it. Um, so as you guys are starting to head out, both Locke and Chad, the two that were bitten, um, you start to feel yourself get a little bit sluggish. And you feel yourself start to slow down, and you get like a little feverish, and you find yourself um, mechanically slowed, but non-mechanically poisoned, or also mechanically poisoned. Um, you're not taking damage, but you're at half speed to move with disadvantage on your attack rolls. Is our condition worsening, or is it stabilizing, or...? It's going to be stable here for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've been poisoned, but the spider's I dead. I try so probably... and play it off like nothing is going wrong. Like, I'm chill. I'm good. But I do ask Midori if she would heal me. <laughs> I'm a little uh, injured after the, uh, the spider. That is true. Should I use one of my spells? You know what? It's Chad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. I mean, I pretty much did all the work. You, the gnome and the, the halfling and the... You're they kind of just sat back, right. yeah. I agree you can, you. A, you can do a medicine check, not cast a spell. Oh, right. okay, maybe not then. Uh... Well, you, you touch him and you heal him for four points. Oh, that's it. All right, I'm useless. Something. Is that Thanks. a spell slot thing or is that a cantrip? That's it's a spell, a spell slot. slot. A spell slot. Those are the things you get back every seven days, right? Just checking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. That you have really limited supply of, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah, all right. I mean, when you're at 14 HP, that's. I yeah. just wanted to touch Chad's rippling muscles and heal him. Kind of the time to call for it, I think. Well, when we're all buried together, you can touch each other as much as you want. You know what? No, I will. No one will be touching you. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay, so are we're we're taking these bodies and we're on our way back, or yeah, are we? It's, it's simple, right? Maybe. Quite yeah, simple. Do you get two rages? Do I have two rages now? One for level one, one for level two. I know I'm not supposed to ever rages. read chat or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's only one. Oh, he you have so. two rages, two for level one, and it stays the same at level two. Koi, Koi Vu, um, are, so uh, what's the what's the t right now? We're in the cave with the spiders. Head. We haven't left the cave yet, right? You are still in the cave. The tracker's still outside. You're all hanging out here over the spider's body, looking at these two dead people you pulled out of the web. Oh. I just want to send the owl out into the entrance of the cave and make sure that there's nothing like weird going on. Sure, give me another dexterity check. Um, aren't all the webs clear up till then? Because we burned oh, them all. Oh, that's true. Out. Yeah, you got a good call. You got them all out from that section of the cave. The owl flies out, looks around. The tracker is there, hanging out next to a tree, just watching, waiting, keeping an eye out for things. You ever board. been bit by a spider, uh, <laughs> Stacy? <laughs> um, no, I have. Wait, it's no, me. Other Stacy. Oh, I thought. Okay. Oh yeah, that girl is still around. By the way, um, he's twenty up. I'm back. Hey, nice job. I asked the others, like the real Stacy, if she's ever been bit by a spider. I thought Stacy was your nickname. Oh, I thought we were outside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I just report to my party what I saw. Uh, my friends, we can move if we could. Everything outside looks good. All right, let's get out of here. Let's All get right. going. You guys head outside. You find Stacy. She comes over to you and says, "I. What's wrong?" What do you mean? What's wrong? What's wrong with the spider? Nothing's wrong with me. What do you mean? Is it done? Is it dead? Of course, it's dead. The head it was a simple spider. <laughs> I clap for Chad's rhyme. Yeah, she gives you a, a polite golf tap. Have I'm you ever been bit by a spider, Stacy? No, not a giant spider. A small yeah. spider. Okay. Did you get bit by the spider? I may have been bitten once, or yeah, probably once. Come here. It's, Let me take a look. It's all right. No, no, no. Oh. Come over here. Let me take a look at you. All right. All right. So she pulls down your your collar and starts looking at your spider wounds and starts smelling at it. Pulls out a small knife and starts poking at your wounds. Hey, careful. Stops when you complain. Uh, pats you on the shoulder and says, "I don't know. You look okay. You don't uh, feel like dying, do you?" I don't feel like death now. Good. You're fine. Let's go. And uh, you guys head back to town. When you get back there that evening, um, without too much of a problem, Stacy says goodbye. Once you guys get towards the town and heads back to her direction, she's already been paid for her section of the work. Um, I'm gonna kind of take Locke aside and ask him if he's, because you said our characters are feeling worse, right? Yeah, it, it takes about two hours for the effects to wear off. Um, so by the uh, time you're back in town, they're gone. But yeah. you just feel like really slowed down. Okay, well, I just we still do, like, or you still no? Yeah, it's gone. The yeah, we're oh, gone. Okay. We're good. We're good. By the time we're done, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him. You felt slowed down at all, or you felt good? How are you I feeling? Feel fine, Chad. Why are you having trouble? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling fine. You wanna throw okay. up a quick arm wrestle? Sure, yeah, sure why hand. not? Well, once all we right. get back, we collect everything. Okay, sure. All right. He was gonna Party heads back. Anyway, gets... why did I heal him? Sorry, Claude. Who knows, Midori? We all make strange decisions. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Yeah, you uh, get back towards the tavern, and before you get there, I just want to ask you a few questions. Uh, Locke, did this? How do you feel about this this uh, quick spider job? Feels good. It's a simple job, killing a spider that probably would have hurt innocent people. Um, Brought bodies get back. paid for it. Yeah, seemed pretty easy. Straightforward. Okay, cool. You head back into the tavern. There's Wyatt. He's actually not sitting with Buck. Buck is not here right now. Um, and he'll come over and meet you guys as you walk on in. Are you bringing the spider head directly in, Chad? Uh, yeah, I'll bring it in. Walking the spider head into the tavern. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Wyatt will see you in the spider head and say, well, that was fast. Yeah. And you're all alive. You didn't think we would be. I, I'm just color me impressed. You know, you're a, you're a tough group. You're going to send Chad and the Barbos out on a mission that you don't think some of us will come back? Mm. All right, my uh, friend. I thought you knew you were taking your life in your hands. 
Well, this wasn't a big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. Well. Well, um, have a seat. Uh, Dusty, their, their drinks are on me. Yes! Uh, if you don't mind giving me the, the head, I will go get it turned to the sheriff and bring you back your coin. You mind if... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I respect him. Can some of I... us accom accompany you to the sheriff's office? If you would like to, you're more than welcome. I'm good I with that. Let's go. I was going to save you a, a walk. I'm you know. staying here. I'm he gave drinking. us money before. Are you worried about him really stealing from I us? I want to see the look of happiness on the sheriff's face. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll go. Flock's going. <laughs> Same. The party will head off and head to the sheriff's station. Does Wait, Ms. does Victoria come with us, or are you staying in the bar to drink? No, I'm staying and drinking. What the heck? Oh, okay. Got it. All right. Uh, you guys again. head over to the sheriff's station. The sheriff is an elderly gentleman. He's got to be at least, like, 85 years old. He's got a, a cudgel that he kind of uses as a walking stick. He's got a heavy limp going on. Uh, balding hair, just kind of like little strands off the side with like brown splotches over his skin everywhere. Um, he looks up from the little notebook that he's reading when you all come in and goes, Oh, boy it! You've got the spider in tow. Excellent, excellent. I'm very glad that you reported that and, and have seen to it. You're a good man. Reminds me of myself when I was your age. Who are all these ruffians with you? It says that why well, these are the people that have killed the spider. Can I please introduce you to Gerald Locke, Seelin, and Chad? Chad. And the uh, these are the Chad and the Barbos. This is their yeah. leader, Chad. I, uh, I, I speak. Um, actually, that's not our official name yet. We're uh, going through a few versions. You can just call us uh, the Barbos. Uh, actually, not the Barbos. The... Just, uh, just call us. It's a work in progress. I don't Wait. think it's important right now. Okay. It's time uh, We're trying to buy you I'm, young I'm... man. When, when it comes to branding, it's best not to change your name too often. <laughs> we are Chad and the Barbos, sir, and this is the. I'm, I'm Chad, and these are the Barbos. I'm walking up to Chad, and I'm tugging on his manly chest. All right, yes, Chad, Barbo. Barbo. We need to have a discussion about our name. It represents our very nature, so we can't treat it as a game. So, for the purpose of speaking with clarity. I'll speak plainly without rhyme so you can understand me. I'm going to actually use this voice. We're not fucking Chad and the Barbos. <laughs> ah, but little known, we are Chad and the Barbos. No, we're fucking not. Thinking about I, it better than Yeah, I stand I next to you to know. Perhaps we can have this conversation later after we've collected our reward from the sheriff. Maybe it would be more appropriate in another place, in another time? Oh, well, I've got the money right here. He heads over and kind of just leans over and picks up this chest, struggles with a little bit, sets it on a table. Flips it so he can see what's inside, and you hear him counting out coins for a little while, making a small stack, and closes the chest and just sets it down next to him and slides the coins over to you. Uh, 5,000 copper. I hope you don't mind. It's all in gold. It's just easier to count this way. All right, that's, that's 10 gold for each of us. That's acceptable. Wait, you said 5,000? 5,000 5, copper? 5,000 copper. Oh, sorry. Thank you. And 50 gold. Or as yeah, 50 gold. Yeah. I kind of just look at him and just like, ah, you know, that situation earlier. <laughs> what are you going to do? Barbos, right? I think you guys will also notice that these are, uh, these golden coins have an unusual symbol on them. They don't look like any of the gold coins you've seen passed out around here or used in currency. Uh, they've got some random person's face on it, and the text on the coin is illegible in some language you're unfamiliar with. Can I do an investigation check on it? Please do. Are we still right next to the guy? Yep, you're right next to the sheriff and, and okay. Wyatt. What, um, can, can I ask? What, what currency is this? I don't recognize this as the king's gold, I guess. I don't know, whoever. Oh, well, there's uh, a whole, there's a, a continent to the south called Caldonia. No, some of our men are out there looting it for all it's worth. It's an ancient frozen wasteland of hell. And uh, some brave knights are out there bringing back the treasure of a lost forgotten kingdom. This is their ancient gold. Probably what hasn't is... seen circulation in 1500 years. Does all gold like spend the same in this land or? Uh, it's the same weight of gold. We've had it checked. Okay, okay. If you would prefer, I can find you modern currency instead. No, this is fine for me. Excellent. Gold is gold. Does investigation gold gold. of 23 tell me anything? Like, that, uh, that like, it's more valuable or anything like that? Like, 
you definitely get the feeling that this money is a little bit older. Uh, instead of the the size of it is a little bit different. It's still one fiftieth of a pound, but instead of being you know like a two millimeters thick, it's only like a millimeter and a half thick, and it's like a little bit wider than your typical gold coins. But it feels when you weigh it next to another one of yours, it feels the exact same. It's it, it's a, a worthwhile functional gold coin, but it is from a foreign kingdom. Far this good. money looks fine to me. Now a little richer we will all be. Uh, could you tell us more about this uh, tr uh, treasure these knights are bringing back? You know, when did they leave for these uh, treasures? Oh, they left uh, two years ago, year and a half ago, something like that. And did they finish uh, excavating all the valuables from the Caldonia? No, oh, no, no, they're still down there. <sighs> are they back. fighting them? Oh, I... To be honest, I'm just a local town sheriff. I don't know the details of such a, a federal investigation. Could you give us directions to Caldonia? Of course. Go to the ocean, swim until you freeze to death, climb onto the ice, fight your way through gnolls and giants and, and kobolds and gnolls and sea wolves and other monsters and polar bears. Don't forget the polar bears. And then find the ancient cities. Uh, if you can survive getting there, and then, um, dig. I know a shoveler. <laughs> splendid, <laughs> young man, splendid. Why don't you take your barbarians and run along now? All right. Uh, Thank you for the gold, sir. It was a pleasure. Wyatt and the sheriff bid you adieu. Wyatt stays to talk to the old man. And uh, the four of you reconvene with Midori back at the tavern. Do you mind if I, before we reconvene, I ask um, our little halfling friend if he'd maybe try to, like, hear what they're talking about, I guess? Because, I don't know. For me, like, the whole gold conversation was kind of weird. Like, we're taking gold from people who are, like, invading another land. Um, I guess it's kind of weird. I asked the halfling if he would be interested in attempting to sneak and listen. Okay. Uh, they did sound really uh, excited to be pillaging from another country. Can I like stealth and listen yeah. in? Give me a stealth check to get your like ear up to a, a window nearby right. without being, without attracting attention from the people <sighs> inside or outside. Beautiful. So you get nice. right up to a window. Um, no one can see you, you're perfectly hidden. And you can hear the sheriff say, well, spider's gone. Now I have a spider head. And Wyatt says, <laughs> Old Sheriff, why don't you let me take that off your hands? I'll go buried in the backyard for you or something. Do you have a a grave you'd like to put it on? Old man says, I just get rid of it. Tell me, do you have um <clears throat> Is uh Gabriella working tonight? And Wyatt says, uh, I'm afraid I'm afraid she's not, good sheriff. Uh, but I will surely send her to you the next time she is working, if that would be more appropriate to you. Uh, more to your liking. And the sheriff says, yes, yes, Gabriella. She is my favorite. Uh, well, that's that. Is there anything else you need? And Wyatt replies with, well, we've heard that there are also giants in, in the hills who are, are working with other spiders or have trained other spiders under them. And the sheriff replies, yes, yes. Didn't, didn't we talk about this? I, I seem to recall something. Giving... A million copper? No, that's too much. Uh, how much did I say the reward was for that? And Wyatt says, uh, 100,000 copper, sir. And the sheriff nods along with it. Yes, yes, splendid. Well, if you find a giant and kill a giant and bring its head back to me, I'll happily award you or, or whoever does the dirty work the 100,000 silver, gold? What is it? Copper, copper. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Fine. Well, if that's all, I'm going to close the shop for the night. I think we're not expecting anyone else. Uh, if you see any drunks, tell them to behave themselves. I don't want to be woken to unlock the jail for them. And uh, he shoes Wyatt out the front door. He steps out, walks past you guys and into the night. And you can hear the old man jingling around in there, locking this and shutting that. And you can hear a dragging sound as he moves something and the clinking of chairs and tables and doors and drawers. It takes maybe 15 minutes before he's done. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to the bar and regroup. Mm -hmm. um, on the other side, ooh, Midori, you <laughs> stayed in the tavern. What are you doing in here? Oh, I drank and... a lot. I took a nap and then I started dancing. Okay, so you did a couple of shots, took a five minute nap, and started dancing. Yeah. Give me a performance check at disadvantage for your dancing. Wait, wait, wait. Why disadvantage? Because you're drunk. But sometimes when I drink, like, I actually dance a lot better. She's an experienced alcoholic. I would agree with that, though. I do. I think a certain amount of alcohol gets rid of your um, social shyness, and a lot of alcohol ruins your dancing abilities, even if you think you're doing it well. How do I roll it at a disadvantage? I don't know. You just It'll roll, roll it and take the lower of the rolls. Oh. 16 is still tough, See? not. She's good. Yeah. I'm an you're... amazing dancer. You're so good. You're so good. Um... All right. You guys get back to see the, the room sort of cleared. Midori in the middle of the room, throwing around some dancing. Other patrons stopping by, like clamp, uh, stopping their feet and clapping their hands. I want to get on top of the table and start dancing. Oh you oh, hop on the table here. and start dancing. Can I come over and play my bagpipes to, to give her like inspiration? Absolutely. Give me your Excellent. bagpipes roll. Okay, the bagpipes roll, and I also have a song. Oh, let's hear it. The girl of our party is a drunken elf who, despite her disability, is wonderful herself. She's a cleric of a drunken trickster god, a proper one, and not a fraud. And I play the bagpipes. Did you just imply being an elf or a half-elf as a disability? Was well, a disadvantage? Excuse me? The disability is being drunk. Oh, oh okay. okay. Drunk and elf. All yeah. right, go back to, drunk, back to dancing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you come on, you, the rest of you come into this big party scene. You know, there's the dancing, the bagpipes immediately start up as you guys walk into the room. Why, it's nowhere to be found. Uh, everyone seems to be having a great time in this place. It's pretty uh, livened up. Mm -hmm. I, uh, tell my group something very important. Guys, guys, I just overheard a conversation between Wyatt and the sheriff. And yeah, I need what to was pull it attention. About? I'm listening. Wyatt and the sheriff has been working together, stealing from the town's folks. And that's how they were able to afford to pay for our uh, bounty. They're stealing? They are. I say this really loud. Midori, keep it down. But that's that's messed up. We need to we need to we need to fix this. Can I, I do a um what? a chokehold check? No, like <laughs> what would I how, how would I how do I go about like seeing if he's like telling the truth? Insight. Yeah. Uh, it would be his deception versus your passive insight? insight. What's my uh, passive insight? It's gonna be ten plus your insight modifier. Yeah. Um, which is not going to be very high. It's and then if you have reason to suspect beyond that, you could make a, a roll of your own. But Seelan, give me a deception check while you try and lie to these people. <laughs> you catch it. It's obvious that he's lying. I, I believe it because I'm drunk. Halflings are uh, known to lie. And it's not him. It, it's not him. It's what halflings do. They're genetically liars. Like... <laughs> All across the realm. Chad is Seelan, very... you present yourself as such a noble man. My opinion of you had grown so much. Wait, Why the lie? lying? He's lying. I am not lying. If we go to the sheriff's office right now, you will see you at least 10,000 copper just sitting in his coffer, sitting there. How could you prove that he acquired this through illegitimate means? We can ask the town folks. Ask them what? If they're missing copper? Who wouldn't exactly. say yes to that? Look. I have heard that people have been losing their money throughout this town for no reason. Like they check their bank and then it's like, it's a few silver short, a few copper short. I've been Why here one so week. Why are you so lying, half elf? See, Lynn, a it's great a crime lot. like this. What else are you great lying evidence? about? Ask the town folks, ask if they're missing money. Did you even try I... to save your old party member? I stopped playing the bagpipes. Is this monk an ally, a bad guy, perhaps a spy? I don't believe him, his words we should let fly. I think this is a lie. After I think it's all time for this monk to die. die. After all <laughs> oh my god. Well, let's call Wyatt over and okay, wait, let's, let's stand. settle I stand, this. I stand on top of my chair. And I shout to the bar, people of this town. Do I have everybody's attention? Do I need to roll for this? <laughs> no, no, no. They, they settle down. You, you stand on your... Yeah, I stop playing position. my backpacks. <laughs> Do we feel as though are, there is a conspiracy in this town to steal the, the copper pieces of you hard workers? Yeah! Absolutely! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Look at that, no, Lynn. No, no, We've got no. a town full of people that want free money. You're going to need to do better than that. I say we call Wyatt over and handle this. Figure it out. Wow, we've presented no evidence. We can't come with such an accusation. We'll no, we don't accu we don't we ask him what he said. Why ask don't you what? ask the town folks? Ask the we're, town folk. You can't we ask just did. You can't workers. ask the folk. If they want free money, see. Not if they want free me free money, if they lost money mysteriously over the past you know, past week. Dusty comes over to where you guys are standing. And she puts a hand gently on your shoulder, Seelin, and says, ah, uh, excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear that loud announcement you just made. Um, I would appreciate it if you were to cause trouble if you did it in another establishment. I don't want this to be thought of as the place where people come to start rebellions and riots. Um, so if you're going to talk about, you know, that sort of thing. I apologize. Our little guy will... He'll settle I'm down. sorry. He's is there a, a rebellion or riot that ought to be started here, Dusty? What is the implication? <laughs> I think, you know, asking everyone if they've been robbed and um, shouting <laughs> loudly that... We're merely know. mercenaries looking for work. Just trying to see if there's a thief around here that needs my, to be apprehended. My friends are very drunk. I am sorry. I will escort I am them not out. drunk. I am of clear mind ASAP. right now. I will my escort mind them has out right never now. been more crystal clear. I'm going to attempt to... Drag okay. out my halfling friend. Dusty, are you part of the cover-up? Oh, okay. Guys, could you just settle down, please? Please, settle down. Yeah, settle down. You know what? See, Lynn? We're gonna get to the bottom of this right now. We're gonna go talk to the sheriff. Whoever the guy Thank is. You. Can Thank we you. chill? I'm okay Let's with getting to the about. bottom of this. Let's go. Let's go to the sheriff's Let's office. Let's go, Seelan. Let's go to his All office right. right now. Let's go to his office right now. <sighs> Wait, wait, as soon as we're outside the tavern, hold on, I like to see Lin. Someone is going to be apprehended here tonight, see Lin. Mm -hmm. If it's not him, it will be you. Are you uh, sure you want to go and talk to him? Did you make a possible? false, did you accidentally say it, see Lin? Maybe, maybe you misheard. You're mistaken. Maybe you're mistaken. How confident do you feel right now that you want to pursue this, see Lin? Mm, I know what I heard, guys. Double Lock, down. you go all right, lead the way. escort him behind. Okay, let's go. We're going back to the guy. All right. The whole party together walks to the sheriff's office that night. Uh, you get there. The door is still closed. But there's a light on inside. You can hear the sheriff rummaging around doing this and that. Uh, he's taken a while to close up shop. He's quite old. Uh, here you are outside. Sheriff. He hobbles over to the door, opens it. Oh, hello there. It's the... um. Bad branding uh, team. Chad and the Barbos. Yes. yes, yes, it's Chad and the Barbos. We're not yes. Chad and the Barbos. Mm. Ice make a sound. Oh! Wait, okay, wait okay, is the entire party here or is it just the three? Whole party. <laughs> yeah, Everyone. I thought whole party. Because I'm bored and lonely now. Uh, what, what can I do for you, fine folk? And um, I, I accuse them. I heard what you and Wyatt was talking about. Oh, you yeah. guys, of your plot of constantly stealing from the good people of this town's folk, of this town. <laughs> stealing? Who's stealing? You find them, and you bring them to me, and I will put them in jail for Sir, many, many years. he's accusing you of stealing. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> um, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Can I, I do swear. an insight check of the guy to, to feel how yeah, truthful he's Yeah, go ahead. Give me, give me an insight check. Does he know what he's uh. being accused of stealing, though? <laughs> He's kind of like a dotty old man. You're not even sure if he understands the question or the accusation. Aww. <laughs> All right. Did you do it? Are you stealing from the townspeople? Well, what's the inside not. result? Uh, it, it, ambiguous. He got lower than a 10, so it's sort of, eh. Uh, I know, but um, that is slanderous to say that I am, you know. I. That's a jailable offense, and if I were younger, and my pride were greater, I would probably go after you for that, but right now I just need to pee. So if you don't mind, I'll be home, I'm away. Are you really gonna let this accusation slide, lock? See, Lynn, this seems like a senile old man. He seems barely capable of taking care of himself, less taking the money from all the people in this Excuse town. Excuse me, young man! I may I thought he'd already went off to pee! It takes me a while to get there, you know. My bladder may be small, but I'm ferocious. Stand back. 
Oh, I want Don't you. Don't pee on me. Make your way. Make your way to the bathroom. He, he urges one. you all out of the room, oh, okay. locks the door, starts to walk away, realizes he left a candle on, heads back in, unlocks the door, blows out the candles, locks it up, heads home. What a sweet old man. What do we do about a lying halfling, Locke? Hold on. Lying? Wait, wait, wait. There's no Can proof we check C. Lin right now? C. Lin, empty your coin purse. Oh, well, wait, wait, hold up. Story-wise, where are you getting where, where are you getting this uh, urge to check from? I don't know. O oftentimes, the uh, robber himself is the one that points the finger. Uh, all right. Can I make a sleight of hand check to like quickly, you know, shuffle my pockets around or like? He has two people with eyes on him. This needs to be disadvantaged or against I mean... both of our checks. You I would can do both go ahead things. and make a sleight of hands at disadvantage to try and like pull some fast maneuvers, like the same pockets over and over against again. passive perception. It would be against active perception because there's two of you. Oh, like, and are we you're, both you're rolling? Oh, you know what? Watching him. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna empty everything out. It's fine. <laughs> All right. I you show my entire uh, inventory of. I'll make gold coin. Forty-seven gold coins and hundred and forty silver. How does he have so much money? Good. Wow, remember that 10 of these gold coins is Midori's because she wasn't with us at the sheriff's office and I was just holding on to it. <gasps> Did he actually yep, hold right. on to it? Because uh, I thought I was holding on to it, Mike. Thanks, no, 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 I was holding on to it. Here you go, Midori. Thank you so much. I wouldn't try to scam you. That's a point of contention because nobody said that they were holding on to it. I believe well, so. I guessed it. I guessed it. Where did these magical coins come from then? And I have and a 10 extra coin. Mm, I don't know where you got those coins from, sir. And I, I give Midori Wait, does he, does he actually have 20 of the new coins from that new land, then? Someone, look, he, they handed you 50. There were four of you. Someone's got 10 extra. I don't know who it is, but Oof. one of you has it for Sherzy's. You don't both I have mean, it. I had it marked on my character sheet as mine, but, like... He I had it marked on oh. his, so... Yeah, we had it marked on his. Did, did you want to do, like, a... You want to roll off to roll see off? who actually got it? Sounds like it's a sleight of hand roll to grab this coin. Uh, I don't know about that. Or dexterity, whichever one gets uh, the point. I feel like the person who muscles it and has it in your hand. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, My hands are quick. You can't muscle. You know. We'll just do a straight wait, roll. Wait, wait, wait. Are you 20? talking about taking gold from him right here? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Like it's at cool. the sheriff's office. At the sheriff's oh. office, because I marked down on mine and he marked down on his, and he took the extra gold, right? Oh. Do you just want to do Why don't you give me his acrobatics versus your athletics? <laughs> Who, what's go. better, muscle or speed? He got it. Sure. Speed is way better. All right, he's got it. I was mistaken. I actually only have 10 of these. Sorry, that's my fault. Ooh. What's cool? So, so, how much, so how much currency are you, is he showing all together right now? Uh, 37 gold. And remember, uh, 15 of these is for Alka's family that we uh, collected from the beginning. Our dearly departed Alka. Who is Alka? Oh, he was a very noble... And useful uh, druids what that Sabi fell. Of him? Uh, he made a huge blunder, like the dumbest. Uh, I think he got a concussion and just made the stupidest uh, play <laughs> and just got himself killed. Like, I can't believe someone would. Uh, you know what, Seelan? I think you should throw 10 gold to the Dusty and pay for everybody's drinks tonight. Do a good deed for the town. And maybe we'll let this one slide, but we're going to keep an eye on you. I am not happy with your false accusations tonight. You can ruin people's lives with these words. I shall gladly pay it, but let the record show that I will be proven right. Just like when I said those bandits on the road were going to come back and attack us, and they did. But Free even as you guys, you guys are quick to forget that, huh? Wait, I, uh, for the record. Okay, I want to escort him to the bar and watch him plant his 10 gold on the counter. I'm not on anyone's side. I just Good. want the drinks. Ten gold I, seems just... like a lot to pay for drinks. Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot, lot of drinks. Of drinks. No, that's, that's a, a lot of drinks. Gold. That's yeah. That's, that's a thousand. I want the good shit. Drinks for everybody. All right. Dusty, I... Dusty keeps in the cabinets, like you know, locked away for rich patrons. We do also feel bad because we did make a huge disturbance in that person's bar. So sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We give her some. We give her ten of uh. See Lynn's gold pieces. Oh, are you guys escorting me to the? Oh park yeah! Park? Oh We're yeah! You. Oh yeah! We're I good buddies right now. Well, I want to see you place it on the counter. Now is the time to remind you guys that Wyatt is comping our drinks for uh, our duration. That's great, and we'll return the favor and find Double free drinks. Yep. 
All right, I uh, put ten gold coin on the counter. Good. Uh, yeah. Dusty, give me that good shit. She pulls a bottle off of the highest shelf and pours you three fingers of it. Yes! I, I chug. She watches mouth agape in horror as you chug the, like, 60-year-old scotch. <laughs> hey. That, that was the good stuff. It was... It deserves to be savored. It was oh so my God. good. Do you have any more? No, you can't have any more. Please, Dusty. I've been a loyal bartend I person will... for I'll so long. You... Please, Dusty, just one more drink. I'll Dusty, give you the 40-year-old stuff, but the 60-year-old stuff deserves to be savored. I, even as a bartender whose job it is to make a profit, I, I cannot condone save... that behavior. I savored it. I, 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 I drank it and I savored it, Dusty. Please. Maybe, perhaps it's time for us to rest. I think we've had a, I think we've had a good night tonight. Ah, uh, but Lock, you owe me a quick arm wrestling contest. Okay, let's do it. Let's sit down and have one. Okay. <laughs> Is it athletics? Yeah. I'm in rare form tonight. I lost tonight. You beat him this time. It's one and one between the two of you. Wait. Okay. Chad, can I have an arm wrestling contest with you too? Yeah, sure. <gasps> oh my god, yes. Alright, what do I roll? Do I do strength? <laughs> Athletics check. Athletic. Here we it's go. It's time to see if Chad truly is. <laughs> Chad's <laughs> having a... She's, she's fucking hammered. <laughs> Destroyed. Chad's having a rough night. <laughs> this is how I win the game, by the way. I Congratulations, Midori. You are quite wait. the warrior. I wait, wait. I will take this test and prove I am the best. I'm gonna just fucking... Throw this gnome's arm through the table, dude. Well, let's see it. Show oh, us. wait, that's a save. Fuck, but I think that's Put him up, yeah. nerd. Okay, let's do it. Is it a strength check? That's an athletics check. Okay, so good. My bad. Oh, God. it's a close battle, actually. <laughs> I you still win. got it. I flex my guns, like, super hard, and like, I'm actually ripped, and, like, I skipped leg Some day. Some of the worst like, rolls. How did roll. I win? <laughs> Don't worry, Chad. I know you let me win, right? I just give her a wink, yeah. You know me. Oh I'm suddenly looking God. forward to the gnome's new songs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. You guys can settle down to rest for the evening since it's late. You've got rooms here, I suppose. Um, and the, the night passes. The rest A of short rest really means helpful. we get one. We get to roll one hit die. and we Yes, you should have one two hit, hit die now. You, you can roll them and you gain one. So uh, roll your so hit So I dice. get one for free, yeah. Wait, what do you click to roll it for free? Uh, or roll it? Button. Back to full oh, HP, everybody. everybody. Ooh. Oh. Do we have, oh, do we nice have two hit die, or how do hit die stack uh, in 5e? You should have two, because your second level, you can have up to two. You'll okay. gain one every night oh. of good rest. <clears throat> Not just this was a night sleep. of good rest, or no? This is a night of good rest. Got yeah. it. So we, two. Yeah. Um, yep, so you should all be at full hit dice right now. Everyone should be at full HP. Everyone's at full spells, except for Midori. We used one. It was worth it. It's fine. Um, the next morning, you guys come on down. Wyatt is here, uh, and he sees you coming down and walks right over to you as you as the the full party gathers at your table, and says, "So, you you all done well? Congratulations. Um, you seemed very eager about taking down that hill giant. Is that something you still want to do?" Because uh, as, oh, as you no. overheard last night, the, the sheriff is offering a, a very handsome reward for that. And the the general impression is that giants are almost always like evil, malevolent creatures that will cause harm to people or... They will cause harm to people. They will harass the road. They kind of treat you like you're inhuman. Gotcha. Then yeah, we'd absolutely love to take on any giants that are terrorizing kind of, the people around here. Would a giant bring, a, bring me much fame? For killing it? Oh, quite a bit of fame, I would expect. We're killing this giant, then. Um, I, I do have one question, though, for you all. Is this is this purely about the money for you? Are you are you doing this to to make ends meet? Absolutely Sir? not. Absolutely not. We are here out of the goodness of our hearts. We're right, here guys? to help this town because we care about you. 
And once your town is fixed of all problems, we'll go somewhere else and help them too. We're somewhat of a Chad. We are Chad like... and the Barbos. We're not and that Chad and the Barbos, Chad. Okay. Uh, then you all feel that way, right? He says, looking at each of you in turn. Mm. Yes. I nod my head. 100%. My friends, a fight with a giant, our end is nigh. Be careful that we don't die. And before he finishes that rhyme, can I, like, do this um, <laughs> Gnomes. Yeah. You can try and Pessimistic a... gnome, you're acting like quite the pest. You're really making my day less. <laughs> I'll have so, some songs so... for you soon. I see your superior <laughs> strength is matched only by your wit, Barbo. Thank you, Locke. What's your last name? I Key? don't need one. <clears throat> I have one. I have none. I cast it aside as I came to these lands. Let's kill, uh, uh, let's kill giants. Sounds good. Uh, yes, yes, that, that would be great. Um, but you say your primary interest is in serving the town. Correct. Serving yes, our intentions are noble. Why? What difference does it make? And the sense of adventure. I'm here for fame. There uh, have been some other unfortunate um, events. He kind of looks around a little bit uh, and leans in real close and sort of whispers. So you have to all lean in to hear him and says, there has been some unfortunate uh i don't know if corruption is right the, quite the right word but abuse of power by some of the landed elites here I, I i live here and i i want what's best for my people and i'm worried about what might happen um, do we think that our halfling friend was telling the truth then well wait what kind of elites are you talking about what kind of corruption fill us in I, I don't have specifics, but there have been a number of, uh, what do we call them? Coincidences that seem just too good to be true, that benefit the, the landed nobles just a little bit too well. What kind of I know of there's a war on. Well, the soldiers go off to war, and it seems that the, the officers with the most lands have not been making it back, with the unlanded younger officers who stand nothing to inherit have been making it back. It, it feels like this war has been an excuse to consolidate wealth, power, money. Um, it, it's, again, not something so directly obvious, but I, I wonder if maybe some of them, some people are being marked for death so that the, the state can take their lands when they die. <gasps> That's horrible! I, I don't have enough evidence right now of anything. And Maybe I, I hesitate to even bring this to you, since clearly nothing necessarily illegal is going on, but... Are you where, would we, where would we go if we were looking for more information about this? What, what do you think would be a good starting spot? Let me follow up with someone first. Why don't you take care of these giants? And when you come back, I... If you come back... Uh, we'll be I back. should have some more, more information. Besides, if you can't take this giant, I, I don't think you would be of much use here anyway. We'd be going up against some strong figures. Got it, Chief. You can count on us. If you want to move back here, it'll probably take us, what, Locke, you think it, eight hours a day to deal with this giant? You're going to fight the giant for multiple days at eight hours a time? <laughs> no, 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 no. In eight hours or maybe like a day of travel to like do it all, do the whole deed. The giant lives two and a half days away, so... We'll be back with the giant's head within a week's time. It's and okay, then we'll Chad. Reconvene. At least you're yeah. strong. For it. Good, good. Um, now, I, I don't think I need to say that. I hope you keep this to yourself. Uh, if what I say is true, and people find out I'm saying something like this, it could mean my head. So please, shh, mum's the word. My lips are sealed. Wonderful. Um, good day. Have a oh, wonderful uh, day. Giant, yes. What? Let me go get Stacy, or I'll send for Stacy. Uh, she knows, she should know the way. And do unless you don't need her. You know, you know where the mountains are. You've been there. <laughs> the same place with the spiders. Somewhere around there. Yes, on that road. Sure, we can find our way back. It'll Sounds be like an adventure. I'm excited. Good day and good luck. We have those two bodies. Did we ever deal with oh, them? Yeah. Right. What do you want to do with the bodies? Uh, take him to the sheriff and see if anything's been reported, I guess, is missing. Yeah, one of these bodies, the body of the knight, is of a... He was a gentleman. 
His name was Hank. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> he was the last remaining member of his family here in town. And um, did Hank have a lot of land? He had a small estate that oversaw a an orchard, maybe five miles out of town. He left behind a wife and three children. <gasps> She will inherit the, the children will inherit the lands when the wife dies um, and she'll take over him as a manager in the meantime. Understood. That's terrible. We should return the body, I would say. Can you, um, what's the name of that lady? Can, can I take out like a notepad and just write this down? Am I able to do sure. that? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have a notepad probably, but you can just mem remember, remember it. it. What's the name of the lady? The last name is Blackmare. Her first name is Claire. Aww. Claire Blackmare. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, we should return the body to her so he can have a proper burial, yeah? Well, we can leave it to the sheriff, and I'm sure they'd take care of all that. We could yeah. do that as well. Whichever one you guys want to do. Very... Okay. Yeah. Um, what about Maybe the other guys... body? Yeah, a fucking random peasant. Random peasant, brother. <laughs> yeah, no one knows. Should we still give them a burial? It's not our job to bury the dead. Leave that to the city. Oh, I'm hungry. Leave him on a street. Well, we could turn him into the sheriff. So are you guys going to give the body to the sheriff, or are you going to take it back to the Black Mare estate? Give it to the sheriff. Um, wait. We'll give the peasant's body to the sheriff. We'll deliver this one to Claire. Okay. I'm okay either way. Excellent. See, Lynn. Wait, can we go do this right now to take it back to her? Oh, yes, oh, I'm sorry, I was asking you, Corbett. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, you can go right now. It's five miles out of town. Five okay, miles there, five sounds miles good. Out. See, Lynn, you're shot at redemption. You're quite the cunning fellow. Why don't you find out if this death to her was as unexpected as it should be? I nodded my hand. Okay, are we at the estate now? Right, let's you make our way to the estate. Travel to the estate, yeah. Let While me just we're make a traveling, mm -hmm. can I sing a song? I would <sighs> love to hear you sing a song. <laughs> Chad, Chad thinks he's bad. <laughs> Believes he's strong, but just a lad. Not enough confidence, it's a little sad. Has to call his comrades by names that are bad. He's so weak in arm wrestling, a shad. So weak that however he responds to me, I ain't even mad. Wonderful. Can I just slap the gnome? Ooh. Absolutely wonderful. Good song. Can, can I slap the gnome? <laughs> you can make an attack roll against him. What is that um for unarmed? It's just fucking regular attack. You can go ahead and use your axe oh. roll. It'll be the same dice rolls. Um, but clearly not axe damage. 12 does oh. not hit him. Uh, I just yeah. dodged out of the way, armor. And I'm running, giggling in circles. Fucking the gnome song rings true. <laughs> Even I beat him in arm wrestling. Oh man. It's okay, Chad. I make a sound like Whoa! as I soon as he tries to hit me and he misses. I, I was it. just bit by the spider twice last night. It's it's no big deal. Chad's ego is for sure fucking hit right now. You have He's a cool failing. tattoo. All right. You make your way to the Black Mare Estate. You ask for directions along the way. It's got these lovely lemon trees all throughout it. A um, couple of lime trees here and there. A few avocado trees right next to the house. Uh, you see some of the little peasant villages kind of set up nearby. Uh, are you going to head to the, the estate proper, not the, the village, right? No, the estate proper. Yeah, yeah. You come all the way up to the front door. It's got a pair of columns and a little overhang, a little uh, paved road for a carriage to come by. And uh, out front is a, a footman, not like a soldier footman, but like a servant footman who sees you coming and hurries up to you as you drag Carrie, probably carry the body on a, a, between some people or whatever. Uh, hurries over and says, my God, what has happened? If, uh, uh, if I focus on like the talking part, can I get C. Lin to do like this insane, like dedicated observant investigation that would let him do this like at advantage. He's like very, very observant to, to check for any sort of uh, maliciousness or deceitful content. You can make a regular roll, not, not an advantage, unless you can make some sort of outstanding circumstance. Outstanding circumstance, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, Seduce him! 
Uh, I greet the guard and say, good sir, we are here to uh, return the body that we discovered. He bears the sigil of this, House Blackmare. Uh, House Blackmare is the uh, lady home. She is. I, I shall fetch her immediately. And he runs off inside, uh, leaving you guys outside on the doorstep to wait. Chad, was it like a worried run? Or Chad, no? this one is all yours. <laughs> Down. You want, you want me we to need you to her? talk to the lady to come. When she comes back here, talk to her and really, really ham it up for her, okay? You've been tearing me down all day. You think I'm going to do this for you, Locke? Build yourself back up, Chad. Get up there. No. Tell me something nice about me and then I'll do it. I'll tell you something nice if you make yourself worthwhile. I'm not doing it until every single person says something nice about me. Go I ahead. I can talk to the lady. Yeah, talk to her. Okay, Midori, go for it. What do I talk about? How much... Just the lady she doesn't even back. know what to talk about. Is she coming about. back? I got it. What? Where is she? She opens the door, steps outside, and looks to you guys, sees the body, and hurries over. She's wearing a, a full-length black dress. Um, is the body covered, uncovered? It's covered. It's covered. Um, it's covered. With a black covered. Coat. Yeah. She gingerly pulls back the cover, sees the face, and immediately like breaks down to her knees and starts weeping. Chad will immediately console her. How does Chad console her? He kind of like grabs her, like consensually I feel like that's a around weird. her. Like, Chill, okay? <laughs> Let Chad first do off, his... she hasn't consented, so it's definitely not consensual. Right, well, and Chad's not I... doing this. Oh. She you know what? He stands up, turns, and throws a slap in your direction. All right. Yikes. Can I Chad's go today. Can, can I go to <laughs> her? It's a wild miss. Like, it comes like a, you know, two She might even slap years. herself. Yeah. Chad um, just like backs then, up and just like, ah, crazy bitch. I How wanna come see her. you? I am a noble woman, you damn peasant! Get the hell out of my property! Can and then I... she burns the remainder. Oh, oh, fine. Chad ruin everything. Zealand, did, did she seem genuinely upset? <laughs> she seemed mm. upset. I can tell you that she was not happy, yes. <laughs> she turns back to the rest of you. I, 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 thank you, thank you for, I'm sorry for my outburst. Your, your friend is a barbarian and, he and should is be caged. genuinely but... a barbarian. Yeah, Chad's a barbarian. so sorry. Chad, stop talking. We found your husband's body in a cave with some spiders and we thought we'd achieve it and hand it back to you. Hand back to you. <sighs> We're so sorry for your loss. Really. I have she tears coming out of my eyes. Composes herself, stands up back to her full height, wipes the tears away. Thank you. We shall see to his burial. You, you said in a spider lair. Yes. What was he doing in there? Do you know? You so tell us. You're his wife. Jesus Chat. Christ. Chat, stop if you talking. say one more word, Chat. I will have you arrested and beheaded. And I can do that. I'm sorry. If he continues these outbursts, we'll behead him ourselves. I'm yeah, sorry. We will I'm so sorry for this. Um, he could have, I mean, he could have been wandering anywhere. You, you know, I think it was northwest of the city was where the cave was, right? He, yeah, he, he was... could have been wandering anywhere around there and dragged in by the spider. These spiders are known to hunt quite a distance from their habitats. But it looked like he put up quite a fight. He was sent to the front. He, he shouldn't have been anywhere near. Fenden. He should have been up in Mystria. It's very interesting, Ms. Blackmare. Are there any other noble men around here that have been making uh, making their availability quite known to you? She pauses, <laughs> makes a wisdom check on her own. Um, there was, there was one man, uh, a, a Distant noble from, from the south, from Pernissus, came traveling through. We met at a, a dance last week, a couple of weeks ago. He was being quite forward. I, I told him I was married, I had children, and that I, I wanted nothing to do with him, in politer words. Um, and he was a little boorish. Do you think he would have had anything to do with this? It's entirely possible. We're not sure, we could we'll definitely uh, keep this We could investigate in this on your behalf. Well, he's, I don't mean he's to sound there. too untoward, but perhaps you could include a small reward. Of course. Well, I'm, uh, of course. I'm so sorry. I should have been up front with that. We will, of course, pay you for your, your services. I deeply, deeply appreciate you 
returning my husband's body to me. Um, I shall go find you something. Hold on. Uh, Jimmy, get, get them some refreshments. Guys, uh, we need to find the name of this person that's been pursuing her. We need to find who sent this man out to die to these spiders. We could be on the on the cusp of unraveling one of the largest conspiracies of whatever this town is called. I agree. Is she out of earshot? She is out of earshot temporarily. I, I hope... think she's into me, guys. Chad. <laughs> Chad, shut the. I hope the drink she brings are alcoholic. Uh, where the hell is this guy's name? I'm hungry. <laughs> is that l your character or is that you? It's Lily. Is hiding in here. Where the fuck is Marshall? I remember his rank, but I don't remember his name. <laughs> All right, she comes back with money for you. Uh, she will give you twenty pieces of gold directly. No, nothing else. Um, and she will, upon reflection and thinking about it, say to you, I. You should know who this is, I suppose. I, I doubt it has anything to do with him, but um, Major Tavington is the man. He's a, um, a cavalry captain in the army. Did your husband uh, work under him, I guess, in any military capacity? He did, he did actually. I, I asked him, one of the reasons we were chatting is I had asked him about how my husband was doing up in the north, and he said that he was um, off on a raid somewhere and he couldn't tell me the details, military secrets and all, but that everything was fine. Interesting. Okay. I mean, we'll take a look into it for you and we'll report back if we find anything. Thank you. All right, good friends. We have two options. We could investigate this conspiracy or we can deal with the hill giant that's been terrorizing the countryside. This um, this town that Tavington would be in, how, how far away of a journey is this? Uh, it is the town of Pernissus. Let me bring you to the world map. Uh, that would be his hometown, by the way. Chad will sincerely apologize to the lady and say he meant no harm. So it's about 85 miles. Um, the more difficult part is that it's like on the opposite side of the Crawlog Peak. So either you got to cross the ridge and then go by boat, because this area right here is a uh, goblin infested lands, or you got to like come back all the way over. So it's quite a ways. It'd be a multi-day journey, possibly involving a ship to get to Pernissus. Gotcha. Do I believe ships go from Bon Theris? They do go yeah, from Bon Theris to Pernissus. You can are, find one there. Are we doing this um, over the giant thing or well, what? no, this going on? Yeah, this would be over the giant. Real quick, you said she gave us 20 gold. Was that like 20 gold a piece or just a no, lump sum? No, 20 gold total. Yeah. Okay, we, can we all we just split? Yeah, uh, we all just split this four gold a piece? Yeah. Okay, I'm adding four gold to my sheet. My vote is that we take care of these giants first, and then from there we can head on to investigate Major Tavington. I feel uh, like the I giants think... are staying out of everybody's way. I think this is the more pressing issue if people are being killed. Will they be staying out of everyone's way, though? Uh, the... Did they say anything about the giants attacking anybody like recently, or was it just like the spider? Giants have always been raiding that road for as long as people have lived here. We seem we to can, be the only uh, one in the region that can take yeah. care of them. I think we should take care of them before we, we leave. We can give these people a good peace of mind by uh, ridding them of these giants. Okay, that's what the group wants. I agree with Locke. I didn't rhyme. On our journey, we should walk. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Saved. All right, uh, can we just venture out and walk towards where the giant was last reported? Mm-hmm. Yep. You head on your way towards the Crawlog Ridge, uh, where you saw the spider, the, not the spiders, the hobgoblins and the goblins and helped out your buddy there. It's going to be a day and a half to get to Grumpburn. Let's just check the random encounter table for a moment. Mm -hmm. It is a peaceful day and a half getting to Grumpburn. Uh, you stay at the tavern here that you stayed before. I think it was Jack's Inn and Tavern. And, and we can head off into the mountains. 
but we should probably do that all in one go. So why don't sure. we wait until next week to all head right. to the hills? We got a little time. Is there anything you guys want to do in Grumfern before you head off? Anyone you want to talk to? Anything you want to see or do? Buy, sell? Does I mean, all of us want... are full on yeah. like spells and everything, right? We're all good and Except rested. For what is she missing? The heal. One heal. Because you used a dumbass heal. No, okay. I, it wasn't dumb. It was I a good to... heal. Thank you, Lily. No problem, Chad. I touched him. Okay. I touched him. Really my... Thank you. Um, all uh, right. Is good there a. Uh, can you buy poison in this world? There are places where you can buy poison. Mm. Um, and they are, how do I say, few and far between. There are some poisons that you can purchase sort of anywhere, but they're like bug poisons for your house, you know? Uh, and you would need very strong amounts of them or high, high dosage to hurt a person. Uh, and they taste bad. So someone would taste them coming in. Um, am I able to like walk around the town and just sort of like probably a real big long shot, but just like look for any kind of spell shops or things that might have scrolls with spells on them and stuff like that? You're not gonna find that, guaranteed. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. Yeah. Just, just checking. Yeah. Worth a shot, man. Worth a shot. In a major Worth city, a perhaps, but not a backwater place like this. Got it. Would um like wicked rot Thenta? I don't know how to say it. Sorry. Wicked rot um, Is that like a major city? It is a major city. It's the capital here. Um, Chad, I guess we'll just challenge Locke to one arm wrestling contest before we go. <laughs> we already did our one. We're we one already one. did our one for today, Chad. We're one and one, one you're good? One. We're one and one, you just don't want to finish it out? Uh, this is athletics, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Huge win for Chad and the barbers. There is your win for the day. Yeah, I know you yeah. need the ego. Chad the feels time. back. He just fucking throws it up, dude. <laughs> okay. It's yep. a moral victory, but not by far, you know? It, it's a bad performance by everyone here. You guys spend the night in Jack's Tavern, and we'll set off in the morning for the mountains and go some, uh, what do we call it? Hill giant hunting. All right. Ooh, awesome. Cool. Okay. Hopefully next time roll 20 won't be so fucking Baz. horrible. Yes. Hopefully. Uh, See, will you throw that? Oh, no do you, you want to close out the show? I don't know how you want to do this. Um, well, who's, wait, who's, technically it should be Toast closing it out, but I guess Lily should be, because she's, I don't know how we do this this time. Lily, why don't you roll us out, since it's on your stream right now? Wait, how do I, what do I do? Just talk about how much you like all of us and thank all of us for coming, and then... Gosh, I love all of you! This has been so fun! Your mic. What? Oh, you sorry, your mic was cutting out. This has been so much fun! And I can't wait to see y'all next week on Wednesday, 7 p.m. PST to 10 p.m. PST. No, Lily. I'm sure it's, going, it's probably yeah, going on her yeah, stream, okay? Yeah. As long as it's on her stream, it should be fine. I love all, right. all of you. Sounds oh, good. Okay, no, we heard that, yeah. Yeah, we know. Okay, guys, um, do you want to wanna... shout out stuff? Yeah, just run it down. Okay, let's go in clockwise. Uh, Koibu. Hey guys, my name is Neil, also known as Koibu. I do a bunch of D&D stuff and a bunch of D&D shows. They're all sort of interconnected. That stuff about the people in the South, that's another campaign of mine that runs and their events have been, are why there's so many jobs available here for you guys. So if you want to see other stuff set in the same world, twitch.tv slash Koibu. Uh, twitch.tv slash this guy's toast, twitch.tv slash this guy's toast, twitch.tv slash this guy's toast. All right, I'm good. Chad, you're next. Am I actually next? Well, you should have gone, but... Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Mr. Moon, twitch.tv slash Mr. Moon. Um, I play fucking video games. It's pretty much it. Good job. Um, I'm Destiny. You guys know where to find me. Um, I finally got shirts up on designedbyhumans.com. Uh, but the store there name is just Destiny. I think it's like slash, slop, slash shop slash Destiny. Um, I think we're finally releasing a new shirt, too, and it's a Lily Pichu drawn one, right? Did She She did that Cinnabonelli drawing? She or did, like, the middle of it. Like, oh, yeah, like the yeah. face. For some reason, that one's being released, so, um... And, um, a sweater, yeah. Christmas sweater coming out. And a Christmas right. sweater coming out, yeah. But, I um, mean, yeah, otherwise, I'm on twitch.tv slash destiny. Had fun. And then... Mr. Mo I mean, oh, you're right. Are you on it? Uh... Devin? Devin. Oh, um, hmm. Hello, it's Mylixia. Twitch.tv slash Mylixia, if you must know. If you enjoyed the show, drop that follow. As for D&D, &D, we'll see you all next time to catch more of my lyrical rhymes.
chat in the barbells. I'll see you next time. Um. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. Put on the next That's time it. on someone's stream, and then. Wait, how did I don't have that? I'll just try. What do I need to put on it? Um, uh, Twitch Dabby. Say... Wait, no, no, no. It should be Toast because he didn't get. No, 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 no. I, this was my week. I just. Uh... Disguised. No, 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 it's good, Lily. It, it, we'll figure it, it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, you know what? Shut next week we'll start on your stream, and then the next half we'll cut it to my stream. <laughs> Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's 10, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. PST, guys. Okay? Woo! All right. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. bye.